one way that you can see a kid play and that's the that's the whole point of what we do is to allow kids to be seen through the arkansas sports network we don't do highlight tapes we do full games mm -hmm. and so you can see any kid that you want to just by watching up no i thought you guys matter of fact that's funny because for us for me like i couldn't get out and go to the state tournaments yeah. we were playing and I actually got to watch a lot of the games through y'all's network. Oh, well, thank you. To, to watch and the kids we were recruiting, we just signed the Jaron Burrow kid from Manila. Yeah. yeah. You know, and, and just watching, we got to watch his games through the state tournament and seeing him play that we wouldn't have been able to go watch. Tommy Reddick right now playing with onions. <laughs> Burrow for three. Wow. Right back at him. This is fun, ain't it? It's a privilege, boys, to be up here calling these games. Number one, thank you guys for what you're doing here. Oh, I appreciate Glad it. We were watching at home last night. I hope you guys know what you're doing here matters. And you guys have been one of the stories of the postseason is the job you're doing oh. here. And we've got Bree McCrotty on the line here. Congratulations, Bree. Bree, uh, tell us a little bit about how you feel about winning the uh, Arkansas Sports Network and D3 Auto Sales Arkansas Girls High School MVP. Well, I'm definitely honored. I'm really excited about right it. On this front line. Rodriguez, he's going to set up Manny Smith. He goes across the court. The libero's there. That's that freshman setting up Welch. Was it in? I think it was. Nope, it's out. They're calling a tap, though. Oh, there's a miscommunication. Rolling out the pass. He throws it, and that oh, King comes underneath it. He intercepts it. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. He's at the 20, the 10. And he's going to be brought down from behind. And I'll tell you what, Luke King is showing. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Dare Saul, owner and general manager of D3 Auto Sales in Desark, Arkansas. And we are a proud sponsor of Arkansas Sports Network. Arkansas Sports Network has been so great to the communities and small towns of Arkansas and high school sports. They are on their way to be the biggest thing in high school sports, and we're proud to be a sponsor. All right, we're live here at Williams Baptist University. We're getting ready for some college basketball action. We've got the Williams Baptist Lady Eagles taking on the champion Christian College Lady Tigers and uh, a homecoming here at Williams Baptist. This is Duran Miller bringing you the play-by-play -play for this first matchup. We're gonna have boys action after this. I've got Brad Caldwell here with me on color. We've got Aaron Powers working your close camera and switching on our board here to get our camera angles right. And we've got Nate Sparks producing for us. And uh, we're excited to be here at Williams Baptist. They are always a great host. And uh, we're excited for some basketball, Brad. Talk to me a little bit about what you expect to see here in this first matchup. Well, I, you know, I expect to see a pretty good Williams Baptist team from what I understand. In fact, you know, the more I learn about this Williams Baptist University, the more I understand it's a pretty good basketball school over here in uh, ex I well, we call this extreme Northeast Arkansas or just Northeast Arkansas? Where are we at with that? Oh, pretty extreme <laughs> Northeast. We're, we're sure. in Northeast Arkansas. Pretty good, pretty good team over here. We want to say thanks to uh, Coach Josh Austin for inviting us over here. We came over here and did a camp for him. For, uh, well, not for him, but he offered his gym for the camp, and that's where we created our relationship here, and that's why we're here today. So we're here for the homecoming game in this ball or in this. Uh, event, I guess, is probably the best way to put it, and we're excited to be here. Yeah, very excited to be here, and I'm excited to see some basketball. It's the first basketball game we'll do of the All year. Right. We're getting geared up for our Arkansas Sports Network games of the week. Um, in basketball, after this playoffs, we've still got a lot of playoffs, though, in football. We want to really give some shout-outs right now to the communities of over the last two nights we had. We were at Murfreesboro with Mineral Springs. I um, mean, it was just unbelievable support there. Um, Crazy turnout, probably 4,000 people in the stands. We had about 2,000 live devices watching us um, during that game. And then 
last night we had a, a big double feature on the Arkansas Sports Network and Arkansas Sports Network high school pages where we had Carlisle and Hazen on ASN and the big cross county rivalry. And then we had Hoxie and Walnut Ridge on ASN high school. So, I mean, just great support from every single town, every community and um, a lot of viewers. I think last night, we were over a thousand at a couple times. At, Pretty sure at that if you Carlisle had Hazen. if you had combined the two games, we were about the same as we were at Murfreesboro, right. and, which that was a unique situation with Murfreesboro yes. Mineral Springs. And um, you know, really, when you get down to it, outside of probably the three A state tournament, we've had the most watch weekend for sure that we've ever had here on the Arkansas Sports Network. Yeah, and outside of right, I agree. Well, I think our biggest one total view was was a 5a but that was like a 10-hour stream um a couple years ago that was the day we had the five overtime game with lake hamilton and parkview and uh i think that's over about thirty thousand views now last i checked but of course those will continue to build over time but yeah i mean it's just it's been really good uh the last three days especially have just been amazing how many viewers we've had we jumped over five thousand subscribers on youtube uh we appreciate that if you're watching right now you like what you see, you like what we do, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button, hit ring the bell. And when you ring that bell, go down and click on the, after you subscribe, hit the bell, and that bell will take you into a custom kind of thing of how you want to follow us, and just click all, and you'll get all notifications from us when we go live. Um, and then on Facebook, like and follow, and we really appreciate it. And we want you all to chat as well. Get in the chat today, let us know. Who you're watching on these teams, if you're watching someone from Conway, um, <laughs> I knew I was going to do that, from <laughs> Champion Christian, or if you're going to watch somebody from Williams Baptist, let us know who you're rooting for, and uh, we'll try to give you a shout-out. Keep it clean, no one yeah. comments. Well, we'd and like let, to have a lot of fun. And I know you touched on it just a little bit here, but we are going to be doing games of the week in basketball. Yes. Uh, we'll be working our way toward a state tournament, hopefully, as, as long as the AAA finds us a worthy partner once again. Uh, we're looking forward to being a part of what they're doing there um, in uh, the state of Arkansas. And so we want you to make sure uh, if you want us to come out to your school and be a part of your games. I mean, the only thing that we really need for basketball is a place to set up and a little bit of Wi-Fi, and, and we're good to go. So make sure that uh, if you want us to come out, I know we've actually had an invitation, Duran. I hadn't really spoke about it because it's been so busy. We actually have a – an invitation to a holiday tournament. Um, I, I'm not sure we can make it or not, but we'll find out. We're going to take a look at the logistics and see where we're at. Maybe if we can't make the whole thing, we can make championship night. We'll see. But uh, it is nice to uh, have that opportunity to do those types of things. Yeah, it's really nice. We really appreciate that type of support. We've got about a minute 30 here before we get underway. We're going to take our last break, and then we'll be back, and we're going to bring you this ladies' action right here from Williams Baptist University. Lives when we need the help of legal services. Well, let Leah Jacobs at Heirloom Legal at 425 North Church Street in Atkins be your go-to when you are needing assistance. If you're needing a will or a trust, maybe you're helping an elder parent with Medicaid issues or planning on opening a brand new business, maybe you have another legal need. Jacobs can help you plan your next step. That's Heirloom Legal, helping families build and protect their legacy through estate, elder, and business planning. Call 501-819-2553 and walk-ins are welcome. on the clock we should get some uh, opening ceremonies we're probably going to sing the national anthem uh, we're starting to see the pledge of allegiance come back at a lot of places now we're getting the pledge a moment of silence uh, the national anthem and then we should have the uh, stadium announcer come on and give our starting lineups for each team and it looks like both teams are starting to head towards the bench or gather up and get ready to go to the bench as we speak Yeah, we're getting ready for some hoops here. First ever college basketball game here on the Arkansas Sports Network. Yes. If you had asked me three years ago, would we be here doing college basketball, I probably would have told you you were crazy. <laughs> yeah, definitely uh, first time for this, and we're really excited. We'll let you hear the stadium announcer for just a moment. Sports Network. You can mark all areas as a natural environment for 
All right, now we should get our starting lineups for each team. Right, there are your starting lineups for Champion Christian, a five foot. They got her five one on the roster officially. Alicia Pickett, uh, number five, a uh, five six guard, Olivia Sepulvado. Uh, number 13, a guard, Justice Irish Holmes. Number 31, center, Cameron Gentry. And I believe we missed one. Who did I miss? I think we have also on there. There we go. Looks like 32 actually got the start. We do not have her on our roster. All right, over for Williams Baddus. You have number zero, Carmen Taylor. Number one, Charmin Taylor. Number two, Taylor Hooten. Number 22, Kayla Clark. And number 30, Sarah Crow. Long shot right off the bat. Three-point baskets no good for number 22, Kaylee Clark. And here comes the Lady Tigers. Yeah. Oh, they weren't looking. Thrown away. Unforced error. Turnover right there right off the bat. We're, we're going to see a lot of Clark tonight, today, I'm pretty sure. Clark, one of the starter, one of the returning all conference players last year. Nice drive, knifing to the basket was number two, Taylor Hooten. I'm sorry, was that number one?
Nice play in transition as they get it up to number 32. That was 22. 22, yeah. I apologize, Kayla Clark. Yep, Clark again. Oh, right off the bat, Williams now Baptist. Still. Putting on the pressure. Turnover's leading the points. There she is again, four points quickly for Kaylee Clark. Probably not gonna have to worry about the shot clock a lot today. Now, did you, that first bucket, was it zero or one? Zero, okay. Yep. Thank you, Aaron. Got another turnover. And here comes Charmin Taylor. She's gonna go all the way coast to coast. Everybody getting in on the act. It's eight nothing quickly. We got a timeout from Champion Christian. We'll take a break with them. We'll be back right after this. Nothing came easy, but with just five cents, an old truck and a load of hay, John Tyson and his family found a way to deliver quality chicken to other hardworking people. Today, Tyson continues to find new ways to help put a chicken in every pot because people deserve farm-raised chicken of the highest quality. At Tyson, we remain committed to this simple promise, to always keep it real, to always keep it Tyson. All right, we're back here at Williams Baptist University, a hot start for the Lady Eagles, eight nothing. It's been a lot of uh, forced turnovers and some unforced turnovers. Almost another one right there. Great ball denial that time from Sherman Taylor, but they have it. They'll get it down in the post, up off the block. Nice play from number 31. That is Cameron, Cameron Gentry, the 6'1 center. She thought it was going yeah. in. Three-point basket, no good for Clark. Good pressure in the backcourt there by Taylor. Carmen Taylor gets the bucket, her second bucket. 10 nothing run so far. Well, they scored two just a second Oh, ago, you're right. Yeah. 12-2. Taylor, <laughs> Taylor get that one? Yeah. Yep. Sorry, we're trying to get it caught up on our stats here. All right, so 12-2. Eagles looking really good so far. Three-point bucket is good off the board. For number one, Alicia Pickett. Oh, Williams Baptist is going fast, man. Their their pace is quick. Uh, they're they're being very deliberate in that. They're trying to push the pace of this ball game and try to get that score out there. It's going to inbound from the baseline. Nice little play, perfect pass, but they can't get it to fall. Rebounded by Gentry. Here comes the Lady Tigers. That was a long three. Yeah, who shot that one? Number one. Okay. That was Pickett. Pickett just hit a three. And now Carmen Taylor is good on her first three-point attempt. You've got to be pleased with the start if you're a Williams Baptist fan. Definitely. Right here on homecoming. That's where they want to go, right here. Got to get that ball into Gentry. She's one of their leading returners. She had 12.7 points per game last year, and they've gone to her twice down low, and she scored both times. Very deliberate in the post. You don't see that back down game a whole lot anymore. It's, it's kind of refreshing, in my opinion. What a great play there by Taylor getting the assist. Yeah, Taylor Hooten with the score. Yes, Taylor to Taylors. Taylor, right? <laughs> right. First name, we got two last names. And another bucket from Alicia Pickett. Alicia, I think is how you pronounce her name. I apologize. There's a three-point shot, no good. Attempted from number zero, Carmen Taylor. Oh, is that number one? Yeah, that's zero. There we go. Off the wing, number 13, misses, can't run it down. That was Justice Irish Holmes, and here comes a two-on-one. Nice pass. Charmin Taylor going to get her second bucket. So just halfway through here, not even halfway through the first quarter, Williams Baptist already has 19 points. 
Wow. Uh, got tripped up. They're going to be a blocking foul this no time. No way. I, I, I'm telling you, keeping this pace up, they're on pace for about 160. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. But fast pace so far. Yeah, I'll tell you, that would be that would be something to be able to just even to keep the pace. There they go. Gentry, she's got the size advantage. Off the right side, no good this time. Rebound from, I believe that's 34 in the game. Maybe 20, it's 24. Now they get to the baseline. That shot's no good. That was Charmin on the attempt. She's two of six so far, struggled a little bit. Two of six from two point, hasn't attempted a three, I don't believe. Pick it with a nice crossover, she'll kick it down the corner. They got a travel on the catch, she shuffled the feet, or did they say she stepped out? I believe she stepped out of bounds. Stepped out of bounds, no shot attempt. So 24 in the game is Monica Horn for the Lady Eagles. Long three-point shot from Taylor Hooten's no good. Get a nice rebound and then a stutter on the takeoff. Yep, got to get that ball on the ground. Almost, it's almost refreshing to see traveling actually called in basketball anymore. So, right. <laughs> I know you hate to see it for your team, but hey, we're still enforcing the rules. What do we got? Not sure. I think she said sideline. Yep, she stopped the play, put it on the sideline. I'm not exactly sure why we stopped the play. Though. That's that's nice entry though for Gentry. They're they're right now they're going man to man or woman to woman, and that time good job from Monica Horn playing good defense. Ball was loose, but uh oh, got a little fancy that time. Little Devo Davis get a little sped up. <laughs> Carmen Taylor throws that one out of bounds. Devo Davis, of course, a Razorback basketball player reference there. Razorbacks start on Monday. Yep, first actual game that matters. But I mean, that game against Purdue definitely mattered, even though it was an exhibition. That's big for the confidence. Three point shots, no good. Oh. And we got a foul on the rebound. She is a low down low yep. so far. It was number 12 on a three point attempt. That is. Michaela Williams, a 5'6 guard. Got the homecoming queen walking into the building right now. So, Williams. Was it an and one? Yes, it was. They hadn't changed the score. Okay, so she made it and then made the free throw as well. So, Gentry with seven points now. Duran, I know you're going to be interested in this. 9.34 left in the third. Arkansas 20. Another Florida field goal. 17. And I believe they got a turnover on downs just right now. Seriously. You know where we're at? I'll give you that in just a moment. Horn with the ball. She gets it out to Taylor. Taylor takes a little 13-footer. It's no good. Rebound ripped away by Williams. Bab or, I'm sorry, by... Uh, Christian, now they turn it right back over. Taylor, kick out to her sister. Three-point shot's no good. Taylor runs another one down, and she's going to get it saved in the horn. Horn's going to drop it off. Taylor up top. That's uh, their best top scorer right now, Kaylee Clark. And she has a nice drive, lays it up off the glass. Big-time play there. If you don't do stats, that's how you can call. <laughs> <laughs> Ball going to be stolen away. Good defense at time from Carmen Taylor. Got a foul on the play. Going to be underneath. Great. Um, th that last little segment there, uh, Charmin Taylor just doing a lot of work down there. She stole the ball. She rebounded it a couple times. And Horn was there a couple times as well to kind of help her. And that's her right here on the inbound. She's going to make the bucket. 
Charmin Taylor with her third field goal. She's three for seven now from the field. Now, if you're a champion Christian fan, that's way too easy on the inbound right there. Pick it with a nice drive, a little floater, the teardrop. You know, champion Christian has settled in just a I little like bit picking. offensively. Yeah, they have, and you know, we were trying to get some information on them, and what I was reading was saying they won their league last year, so um, congratulations to them. I know Gentry, one of the returning players, there was, there was three or four, but she was the leading scorer back, 12.7 a game. We got a foul down low. Horn was the one that got fouled. They're inbound. They're going to have number two, Taylor Hooten, to inbound it. And Gentry's going to get a blow as is that 32 comes in the game. And 32 started. We don't have her on our roster. Nice drive to the baseline, a little pull up from number three, which is Nija Moore. She can't get it to go. Oh, wow. What? Is that Pickett again? Yeah. Wow, Pickett just throwing that one up, and it was, it was good. Tyler Eulis out there throwing it up. Oh, nice move. Good, strong move right there. Who was that they said? Moore? Three, yep, number three, Moore. Yes, okay, Nigel Moore, right. Good job. Man, she's kind of instant offense. And back on the other end, another bucket. Well, after the 10 0 start, Champions actually outscored Williams Baptist here in this stretch. Who got that last bucket for uh, Champion? Uh. <laughs> I'll go you back got and one. find it. You got number one. Ooh, that was a tough foul. No, no it was I believe it was number 32, by the way. Okay. So that was Sherman Taylor's first three-point attempt. It was no good, but... You've got uh, Nyjah here on the uh, on the rebound, getting the free throw attempts. Not good on the first one. She's come in and had two quick buckets, uh, made one, missed one. Hey, Brad, can you yes, come sir. over here and assist me with something? Yeah. She missed them both. She made the second one. Okay, thank you. So it should be 26-18, right? Marina scoreboard is wrong. Okay, 26-18, she made the second one. And I'm telling you right now, they bring in number three off the bench, Naja Moore, and she goes straight to work, misses that one. But they get the ball back off the rebound, and a three-point basket is good for Taylor Hoop. the size of uh, champion Christian really giving Williams a little bit of trouble. Moore gets rejected this time, stolen away. Baptist moving it up the court. Yeah, my stats are getting a little, they're not loading anymore. Oh my goodness. Big three right before the buzzer from number five. Olivia Sepavato. Wow. Champion found their, their offensive game just a little bit. And the score is actually 26-23. They gave those three to the wrong side, and they still have left a point out. Twenty-six twenty-three is what we have. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Lives when we need the help of legal services. Well, let Leah Jacobs at Heirloom Legal at 425 North Church Street in Atkins 
be your go-to when you are needing assistance. If you're needing a will or a trust, maybe you're helping an elder parent with Medicaid issues or planning on opening a brand new business, maybe you have another legal need. Jacobs can help you plan your next step. That's Heirloom Legal, helping families build and protect their legacy through estate, elder, and business planning. Call 501-819-2553 and walk-ins are welcome. Back to school, yard work, football practice. Don't forget to pay these bills. The schedule is so full, there's no time for a hiccup. Time is of the essence. At D3 Auto, we make the car buying process fast and easy. D3AutoSales.com. Follow us on Facebook. All right, we're back here at Williams Baptist. Uh, now, they, they've changed it to 28-23, but we believe. What do you think it is? 29-23. right. 29-23. There's a three-pointer out of the corner. So they say number 32 is Mackenzie Jones. She's 23 on our roster. Mackenzie Jones for three. And they have made it a two-point game, 28-26. We do believe officially it's 29-26, but they may just have missed it. That free throw is good from Horn. Horn's second free throw attempt is good. So it's 31-26 now. Did they finally add the point? They finally added that point we've been talking about. Okay. So now, 31-26. That should be right. A little weave action up top. Nice pass from... Uh, Number one down to number 22, Kaylee Clark. Kinsey Jones is short, air ball, and they try to save it, and they step on the baseline. Can't get it in. Well, it's going to go right back to Champion Christian College. 33-26, seven-point game, 8.27 to go in the second period. Nice pass. Oh, my. Little backdoor cut. She misses it, gets it back. That's Kaylee Clark, but a great pass from Hooten to set it up. Now, this is game number two for Williams, right? Isn't that right? That's what we were told. Yeah. Yes. So you can tell there's still a filling out process going on right now with, with these teams, probably both of them. Early in the season, you're going to get that. Probably not going to get a good flow until, like, game 10. Now 
Hey, Duran, those stats we can probably get from the SID. Yeah, I think we're going to have to give up on it. Our spreadsheet's kind of having some issues. So. All right, so they get it in. Down low, Gentry, kick out, pick it, bucket, book it. Hey, <laughs> she can put it down, man. She She's can good. shoot the ball. She's really good, and it's tightened up, 35-29. Does it say on that roster where she's from? No, it doesn't have the location. We can maybe look that up here a little bit. She's going to get a steal right here. She strips Hooten. 21 with the ball. That is Janiah Gilliam. Pickett crossover. She gets it in the Gentry. Gentry kick out to the baseline or to the corner there. Three pointer, no good. That attempt was from number 13, Justice Iris Holmes. Williams Baptist will keep it here. 7.21 to go. It's a six-point game. So number three, been out there for an extended period of time. She's been instant offense for Williams Baptist. That's Nigel Moore. Number 30 in the game. She had a chippy, couldn't get it to fall. That was Sarah Crow, but the three-point basket is no good as well from Moore. Moore's done most of her work down inside the painted area. That time she took one from about 22 foot, no good. Again, after a great start, Williams Baptist kind of slowed down a little bit. Champion has speeded up, and they've gotten this game back to a 35-29 game here. Here comes Pickett. Going Woo! In little, yeah, I got some separation on the crossover. Rebound from Hooten. I'm sorry, Kaylee Clark on that rebound. Shot's no good. It's going to stay with Williams Baptist. You always got to deal with Charmin Taylor on that offensive board. She's really active down there. Fun to watch. I like to go to her on these inbounds a lot, too. This time they're going to find number 30. It's going to reverse pivot. Mm. Can't get it to fall in and out, and Gentry snags the rebound. Williams missing a bunch of those close to the Sarah basket Crow. right now. Pick it. Dissecting through, found an open player, but they couldn't fall, get it to fall. Now Taylor's going to go all the way. Charmin Taylor with another bucket. 37 29. Eight point game with 6.23 to go in the half. Nice job by Taylor getting out on the break, getting filling the lane, finishing the bucket at the rim. Oh, that one's poked away. Taylor might have got her hand on it. And then it's thrown away. Gentry's there. She's going to give it up, number 12, going to go up against a couple Lady Eagles, mm. and she gets it to fall. That's Michaela Williams. So far, a little bit of the difference in the ball game, or at least in the last, oh, 10 minutes of the ball game, has been the ability of Champion Christian to finish around the basket. Williams hasn't had as good of an ability, but hey, good job right there. Nice play on the left side. Sarah Crow finishes with the right hand. 39-31, back to an eight-point game. Pickett crossover. She is she's making life tough right now for Hooten. That's a nice play in transition to get it up ahead. Kaylee Clark knows what to do with it. She gives her Lady Eagles a 10-point lead. Returning all-conference player first team, Kaylee Clark. Pickett, a lot of dribbling. She's got to give it up. She gets it over to number 21. That's uh, Gilliam. Gilliam down to Gentry. Gentry with the Turnaround up off the board. Now, am I crazy to think that Gentry kind of camping out in the lane a little bit, don't you think? <laughs> Maybe. Seems like it. I, I have to make, yeah. pay a little more attention Me to say for sure, but she's definitely down there a lot. <laughs> Got a one-on-one -on -one fast break here. Good defense that time. Kind of just ran into trouble, really. Now she'll get it back for a three-point shot. Mm. It's good. That three ball is working. Michaela Williams with another one. Well, you can see why this champion Christian team won their league. They got offense. They can make yeah. things happen offensively. And I'll tell you right now, since they've taken that timeout early in the ball game, they, this momentum has switched some. Good drive from Taylor. She stops and pops after she gets by her defender. Extended elbow. Buckets good. 43-36. Williams Baptist has got to be able to withstand this run here. And try to get some space. Blocked. Sarah Crow. Denial. But that run out, you can't do that when you got someone like Pickett back there. She's too fast for that. Now she's going to find 
Williams and Michaela Williams, or I'm sorry, that's uh, Janaya Gilliam. She finds the bucket in the open floor. Good, good play right there through some contact. We got a timeout, 43, 38, 401 to go and a half. We'll be back right after this. Nothing came easy, but with just five cents, an old truck and a load of hay, John Tyson and his family found a way to deliver quality chicken to other hardworking people. Today, Tyson continues to find new ways to help put a chicken in every pot because people deserve farm-raised chicken of the highest quality. At Tyson, we remain committed to this simple promise, to always keep it real, to always keep it Tyson. I'm not you. All right, we're back here at Williams Baptist. It's a five-point ball game. Early on, I, I believe, it, I know it was 19 to nine early, um, 10 to two as well. Baptist just came out all over champion Christian, but since then they have righted the ship and they've been right there with them. 43-38, oh, tried to throw it down to the baseline on a little give and go type action and it's stolen away. Good job from Janiah Gilliam. She's still got the ball and it's taken away. Here comes Kaylee Clark. Oh, Euro up off the glass. Kaylee Clark showing it off today. 45-38, back to a seven-point game. Number five, kick out. Number 12 for three. It's no good. Rebound from Williams Baptist. That was... Now it's thrown away. It's going to go back to champion. Number five in the game is Olivia Sepulvaldo. She's the one to hit that three-pointer right at the end of the first period. Number 12, Michaela Williams. Williams, oh, stolen away. Good job from Hooten. She baited that one. She's going to go coast to coast for the layup. And it's all, oh, I was kind of wondering there for a second. <laughs> you know, I, I feel like, you know, champions got 38 points, but how many turnovers do they have here in the first half of play? Right. If they clean that up, I mean, They'd have a 10-point lead probably. Gentry with it, and that time is stolen away. The defense has been really good after this last timeout for Williams Baptist, yep. and good, good job by Sharman Taylor. She just outran everybody, laid it up in the end, actually used her body to absorb a little contract, tried to draw a foul there, she slowed down. Oh, nice, oh, nice drive, yep. leaves it a little short on the finger row. The rebound, second rebound I've seen now for number 23 who's in the game. That is Kyrie Stevenson. Clark puts one in yep. for three. Clark from the corner. It's good. They stretch his lead right back out to 14. Right when uh, Con uh, champion Christian got things going, uh, Williams Baptist has turned it on. We'll take a break. We'll be back. Lives when we need the help of legal services. Well, let Leah Jacobs at Heirloom Legal at 425 North Church Street in Atkins be your go-to when you are needing assistance. If you're needing a will or a trust, maybe you're helping an elder parent with Medicaid issues or planning on opening a brand new business, maybe you have another legal need. Jacobs can help you plan your next step. That's Heirloom Legal, helping families build and protect their legacy through estate, elder, and business planning. Call 501-819-2553 and walk-ins are welcome. All right, we're back here, 52-38. A couple good defensive plays, got some runouts, and then some good offense as well. Clark making a couple of those plays and hitting the big three out of the corner a moment ago to stretch his lead back out to 14, right when champion Christian yeah. had a lot of momentum going. You know, Williams Baptist, 52 points here with two minutes to go here in the first half of play. They've missed several right around the rim, but then also you've got – uh, champion Christian, who if they didn't have so many turnovers, you know, they would probably have several more points as well. So some some missed opportunities on both ends, I guess, in the end of the day, that's why they play the game. It evens out, right? <laughs> that's right. 
So Pickett and company, they need to get in their groove now. Gentry was fighting for position. Now she'll step out of the lane. Tough drive, and it's sent away that time, rejected. It was number 13 on the drive, Justice Irish Holmes. She's pretty good at knifing to the basket. Trouble finishing a couple times here as of recent. We'll get this one up to number five. That's uh, suppose the Sepulveda. She's got it. She Defense just kind of let her go there for a second. She had an open shot. I think she kind of was surprised how open she was. Couldn't get it to fall. Taylor into the corner for number zero, her sister. That's uh, Carmen Taylor. That bucket's no good, and they finally get the rebound. A little cross court pass. Maybe an extra pass, too many that time. It's a three on one. Nice pass, Taylor to Taylor. You think they've done that a few times, right? <laughs> Probably in the backyard, a thousand times a thousand, most likely. <laughs> yeah, maybe mom or dad, but the, the one having to deal with that two on one many times. 54-38, go ahead. Coming out of that timeout, Williams Baptist has done a great job of getting this momentum back into their favor. Yep, the last timeout before last, they get the run, and then they've added to it now. Been a little bit sloppy. The turnovers has been the problem so far, for sure, for uh, champion Christian. And then you got to give credit to Williams Baptist, the defense, because these, these last few turnovers haven't been Unforced, they've actually made them turn it over with good defense and moving their feet. We've got a little bit of a hand check there against uh, Clark. Still from the base, uh, still got to inbound it though. They're gonna get it down low. Just gonna take one dribble and go straight up with it. That's number 23. Kyrie Steve Kiri Stevenson for good bucket. For good pressure out at the yep. top there. Open three though. That's no good. Ran down from Taylor. Here comes the Lady Eagles. Hooting with it. Back to Clark. Clark thought about the three. She's gonna drive. She's gonna stop and pop from 12 foot. No good. 56 38, 15 seconds left in the half. 18 point game. Boy, Champion Christian could use a bucket to close this half out in a bad way. Tom is getting running out. They're going to get mm. an easy foul call right there. A little too physical. Still way out of the, the bonus here. So, yep. You're going to inbound from the baseline. Looks like uh, Charmin Taylor will check back in. Little update real quick. You ready? Yeah, I guess. PAT pending 23 20 Florida. 23 20 Florida. Yep. PAT is We don't want to hear those updates. <laughs> that ball's just thrown away. Three on the clock. Two, one. She's got to get rid of it. Oh, won't get it off in time. It will not count. It falls out anyways. But after one half, the Lady Eagles of William Baptist have scorched it out here. 56 points on the board. They're on pace for 112. But uh, Champion Christian showed some life after a rough start. We'll take a little break and a little bit of an extended break. We'll come back and uh, talk to you a little bit at halftime, some analysis on this one, and we'll be back after that for the rest of the game. Our lives when we need the help of legal services. We'll let Leah Jacobs at Heirloom Legal at 425 North Church Street in Atkins be your go-to when you are needing assistance. If you're needing a will or a trust, maybe you're helping an elder parent with Medicaid issues or planning on opening a brand new business, maybe you have another legal need. Jacobs can help you plan your next step. That's Heirloom Legal, helping families build and protect their legacy through estate, elder, and business planning. Call 501-819-2553 and walk-ins are welcome. During the Great Depression, nothing came easy, but with just five cents, an old truck, and a load of hay, John Tyson and his family found a way to deliver quality chicken to other hardworking people. Today, Tyson continues to find new ways to help put a chicken in every pot because people deserve farm-raised chicken of the highest quality. At Tyson, we remain committed to this simple promise, to always keep it real, to always keep it Tyson.
one way that you can see a kid play and that's the that's the whole point of what we do is to allow kids to be seen through the arkansas sports network we don't do highlight tapes we do full games mm -hmm. And so you can see any kid that you want to just by watching up. No, I thought you guys, matter of fact, that's funny because for us, for me, like I couldn't get out and go to the state tournaments because yeah. we were playing. And I actually got to watch a lot of the games through y'all's network. Oh, well, thank you. To, to watch and the kids we were recruiting, we just signed the Jaron Burrow kid from Manila. Yeah. yeah. You know, and, and just watching, we got to watch his games through the state tournament and seeing him play that we wouldn't have been able to go watch. Tommy Reddick right now playing with onions. <laughs> Burrow for three. Wow. Right back at him. This is fun, ain't it? It's a privilege, boys, to be up here calling these games. Number one, thank you guys for what you're doing here. Oh, I appreciate but it. We were watching at home last night. I hope you guys know what you're doing here matters. And you guys have been one of the stories of the postseason is the job you're doing oh. here. And we've got Bree McCrotty on the line here. Congratulations, Bree. Bree, uh, tell us a little bit about how you feel about winning the uh, Arkansas Sports Network and D3 Auto Sales Arkansas Girls High School MVP. Well, I'm definitely honored. I'm really excited about right it. On this front line. Rodriguez is going to sit up. Manny Smith, he goes across the court. The libero's there. That's that freshman setting up. Welch, was it in? I think it was. Nope, it's out. They're calling a tap, oh, though. There's they a miscommunication. A Rolling out the pass. He throws it, and that oh, King comes underneath it. He intercepts it. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. He's at the 20, the 10. And he's going to be brought down from behind. And I'll tell you what, Luke King is showing. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Dare Saul, owner and general manager of D3 Auto Sales in Desark, Arkansas. And we are a proud sponsor of Arkansas Sports Network. Arkansas Sports Network has been so great to the communities and small towns of Arkansas and high school sports. They are on their way to be the biggest thing in high school sports, and we're proud to be a sponsor. We're back at Williams Baptist University, 56-38. The Lady Eagles have got some separation there late in that second period. We've got your halftime stats for you. Leading all scorers in this one is Kaylee Clark. She's got 17 points, one of five from three, uh, but eight of 16 altogether from, from uh, field goal land. She's got 17. Charmin Taylor has 12 points. She also has two steals and four rebounds. Carmen Taylor, 11 points. She's got six assists, four steals, and 11 points. Uh, five of nine from field goal land, one of four from three-point land. We've also got seven points for Taylor Hooten. She also has six assists, so that's, that's two different uh, Lady Eagles with six assists apiece. They've got 16 as a team as uh, Kaylee Clark also has three assists and three steals. Four steals from Carmen Taylor, that's really impressive. I don't have a total on steals, but it looks like it is 15 steals as uh, Kyrie Stevenson has one as well and Sarah Crow has one. So 15 steals, 16 assists. That, you're gonna win a lot of ball games yep. if you put up those kind of stats. Over for Champion Christian, 12 points for Alicia Pickett. Nine for Amron Gentry and seven for Mackenzie Jones. Um, they've got nine assists as a team, 19 rebounds, and they're, they're being out rebounded by two as uh, Williams Baptist has 21. What else we got here? Three point attempts. Williams Baptist is three for 13, struggled a little bit from behind the arc while. That's what's helping uh, Champion Christian. They're 5 of 14, so definitely a better percentage from three-point land. 
But they gotta they gotta cut down the turnovers. Twenty two turnovers at the half for Champion Christian, only seven for Williams Baptist, Ooh. and that's the big difference in the game. Well again, and, and one of the things that you can say about Williams is if they had made some of those ga- that some of those right at the uh rim right there, how many points would they have right now? I mean you're talking about right. seventy, eighty points. And so uh, you know, again, I go back to it. You got turnovers on one side being a huge difference. Right. You've got missed opportunities at the rim on the other side being the difference. But at the end of the day, Williams Baptist has still found a way to get themselves out to an 18-point lead. Right. You know, and and that, that's really – those turnovers really make such a big difference because even though uh, Champion Christian has missed some, they, they're overall they're actually 48.5% shooting from the field right now. Um, which ain't ain't that bad. 16 of 33 total field goals. And uh, Williams Baptist is at 52.1%. But because of those turnovers, Williams Baptist has gotten off 47 field goal attempts in the first half while Ooh. it's only 33 on the other side. And that's what turnovers does to you. Jim filling in pretty good today here on this yes. homecoming day. It's a, a great time to be here at Williams Baptist. And again, we want to thank Coach Josh Austin for being with or for allowing us to be here. Uh, we created that relationship through the summer um, at coming here and doing a, a individual skills camp. And so that was a lot of fun. And um, you know, Duran, here we are again. It's in November. It'll be time for that skills camp before you know it. <laughs> yes, you're totally right. And that was a lot of fun up here last year. Yeah. It was a really good prospect camp. And, uh, I mean, the, the, the kids that everyone we interviewed just talked about how much they really enjoyed the camp, the layout, the how the teams were kind of split up, and how many games they got to be in, you know. Right. And the, the, the format they had with the clock rolling and everything allowed them to play that many games. Yep. Um, just a lot of fun and uh, definitely a lot of college coaches taking, you know, view and kind of seeing those guys, and that's what it was all about. We were happy to kind of come up here and help, kind of help with that as well. Yep, and supposed to be coming back again this year. We'll see how that works out, but, uh, man, we're glad uh, for that opportunity. And so glad to be here, and, and here we are again up here at, we, at uh, Walnut Ridge, and uh, we were here Last night for the Hoxie Walnut Ridge rivalry game, and uh, that was a lot of fun to be at. We had, uh, we've had our biggest, biggest uh, turnout so far on the Arkansas Sports Network. This weekend has been about everything that we probably expected it to be, and then of course we go all the way back to last week as well, as we did the 3A state tournament in volleyball. So we are uh, churning out views. If you are interested and being a part of what we do here on the Arkansas Sports Network. You can do a couple things. Uh, cash app us if you just like what we do and, you know, you just, hey, we're going to take up a little offering here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, you can go to AR Sports Net on Cash App. That's the easiest way to do that. And then also if you say, hey, man, we, we really like what you do and we'd like to be a sponsor uh, for the year even uh, because we're going to do baseball and, and we're going to do uh, softball and different things of that nature as far as just coverage goes. We'll do a big-time basketball coverage. We're going to do state tournament and that all, all that sort of thing. So, anyway, it's going to be a great time, and yep. you want to be a part of that. And I'm looking at this stat sheet I, I got, and I am also didn't see it on here before, but points off of turnovers – Williams Bab is 38 points off of turnovers. 38 of their 56 points came directly from turnovers. That is incredible, and that's something that uh, Williams Bab just, I'm sorry, that Champion Christian has to clean up immediately. I, you missed that. Uh, what's up, Brad? I was finally seen on this, this stat sheet, 38 points directly from turnovers. Oh, wow. Points off of turnovers, wow. 38 to 7 margin. I, Nate, one of the things I told the, the, our sponsors that we were going to do from last night was get their lo- the local sponsors in. Let's go ahead and get those in. I know we probably don't have them loaded, but let's get them loaded in. That way we can throw them in as well because we do appreciate those from Walnut Ridge and Hoxie that came in and, and sponsored. Um, it's, uh, it's always appreciated when uh, you come in and, and help us out. Yes. And so – Anyway, you can see here right now Adam Staples at uh, State Farm and the Cross Tie Diner there uh, with barbecue, burgers, and deli, 870 637 5101. 
again, that was a, a great, uh, great opportunity to be there, and we couldn't have done it without them. All right, well, we've got about four minutes, 10 seconds before we get to second half action. We'll take an extended break. We'll be back with all your second half action right here on the Arkansas Sports Network. Yard work, football practice. Don't forget to pay these bills. The schedule is so full, there's no time for a hiccup. Time is of the essence. At D3 Auto, we make the car buying process fast and easy. D3AutoSales.com. Follow us on Facebook. During the Great Depression, nothing came easy. But with just five cents, an old truck, and a load of hay, John Tyson and his family found a way to deliver quality chicken to other hardworking people. Today, Tyson continues to find new ways to help put a chicken in every pot. Because people deserve farm-raised chicken of the highest quality. At Tyson, we remain committed to this simple promise. To always keep it real. To always keep it Tyson. There comes a time in all of our lives when we need the help of legal services. Well, let Leah Jacobs at Heirloom Legal at 425 North Church Street in Atkins be your go-to when you are needing assistance. If you're needing a will or a trust, maybe you're helping an elder parent with Medicaid issues or planning on opening a brand new business, maybe you have another legal need. Jacobs can help you plan your next step. That's Heirloom Legal, helping families build and protect their legacy through estate, elder, and business planning. Call 501-819-2553 and walk-ins are welcome. Work. Football practice. Don't forget to pay these bills. The schedule is so full, there's no time for a hiccup. Time is of the essence. At D3 Auto, we make the car buying process fast and easy. D3AutoSales.com. Follow us on Facebook. During the Great Depression, nothing came easy. But with just five cents, an old truck, and a load of hay, John Tyson and his family found a way to deliver quality chicken to other hardworking people. Today, Tyson continues to find new ways to help put a chicken in every pot. Because people deserve farm-raised chicken of the highest quality. At Tyson, we remain committed to this simple promise. To always keep it real. To always keep it Tyson. There comes a time in all of our lives when we need the help of legal services. We'll let Leah Jacobs at Heirloom Legal at 425 North Church Street in Atkins be your go-to when you are needing assistance. If you're needing a will or a trust, maybe you're helping an elder parent with Medicaid issues or planning on opening a brand new business, maybe you have another legal need. Jacobs can help you plan your next step. That's Heirloom Legal, helping families build and protect their legacy through estate, elder, and business planning. Call 501-819-2553 and walk-ins are welcome. Over the years, you've seen me wear a lot of hats and do a lot of crazy stuff to get your attention. But we are Arkansas's Quality Dealer of the Year. And it's because we care about our people and our vehicles look different. We specialize in leveled and lifted trucks and we make the process easy. D3AutoSales.com Back to school, yard work, football practice. Don't forget to pay these bills. The schedule is so full, there's no time for a hiccup. Time is of the essence. At D3 Auto, we make the car buying process fast and easy. D3AutoSales.com. Follow us on Facebook. All right, we're back at Williams Baptist University. We're getting ready for the second half to get underway. We've talked about it until we're blue in the face. Back to school, yard work, football practice. Don't forget to pay these bills. Thanks to D3 Auto Sales, right? Yeah, thank you, D3 <laughs> Auto Sales. We're definitely getting you in there. But, uh, yeah, we've talked about it a little bit too much probably at halftime, but we, uh, Champion Christian has to clean up the turnovers. They clean up the turnovers. They might even have the lead right now. That's uh, how bad the turnovers were. Well, didn't you say 38 I'm points? I'm watching Rocker Sanders get inside the five for the Razorbacks. <laughs> yeah, 38 points directly off of turnovers, which is un unheard of really in one half. So that's 38 to 38 right there. Right, and they got seven the other way, so. 
I mean, you just play half court oh. offense. Oh my gosh. What? We're on the four. The Razorbacks were kind of. You're kinda a little behind me. You'll see. A little multitasking. Oh, was it? Probably negative the way it sounded. <laughs> Overthrew him. Yeah. Terrible throw. Yep. Fourth down. Where's Jacoby Criswell when you need him, right? I'm just playing. But uh, starting out with a three. They struggled from three a little bit in the first half. Kaylee Clark, who was one of five, hits that one. Clark's got Pick that. Pick it. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Gets it in a gentry. Go ahead. Whatever. I was just going to say, Clark's got that scoring mentality. There She's she not going to let one of five get her down. She's staring down. I thought uh, 13 was going to get in there, Holmes, but she laid off, didn't want to draw the foul. Five quick points for Clark. And they're extending the lead, and Gentry can't handle it, but Pickett's there. Got some bodies on the floor. Pickett's going to take a three. It's no good. Clark with the rebound. She had a girl. That's Crow up ahead. I think that's Crow, 30. Yes. And Sarah Crow gets the bucket. 63-38, extended it out to a 25-point lead. Gentry going to put her head down, spin. It's taken away by Crow. Pass up ahead to Clark. Can she get around Sepulvo? And she will. Sepulvato, I apologize. So Clark, she's got 22 right now early in the third. Well, you need to be on a scoring watch on her, man. 22, can she get 50 tonight? I mean, that's a possibility. Yep, she had 17 at the half. She's got 22 now. We'll see. We're, she's on watch right now. Gets the second free throw to go. She's a good one. So Bavado with the ball, looking for Pickett. She goes away from her. She's going to drive, has to get rid of it at the last second. Turnover. There's another one. That directly led to this run out, but they throw it away. Is that, hot? that pass is a little too hot. Hooten couldn't pull it in. Pickett with it. Pickett picks up her dribble now. Givens right where she wants it. Wow, just a little too strong. Gets her own rebound, though. She keeps working. She gets the bucket. Good job from number 31, Cameron Gentry. I've been calling her Givens. I don't know. Shifted gear somewhere and became Givens. I apologize. That's Gentry. Taylor for three, no good. Sipovato with the rebound. You know one thing we haven't mentioned On today? The back. What's that? The shot clock. <laughs> right. It, we haven't needed to, right? No, well, it has not been a factor in this ball game whatsoever. They, they count the bucket, I believe. She'll get – yes, they count the bucket. Wow, she just threw that up with the right hand, kind of cradled it. Gets it to go. Olivia Sepavato, chance for the three-point play. You know, Duran, I think our buddy Aaron right here beside us, I think he enjoys basketball more than football. Yeah, you think so? I do. I, I, I can tell. I, I can't he's, tell. He's into it a little bit more, I think. He's definitely into this camera work but more, that's for sure. Clark gets it on the baseline, goes around one defender, stops and pops from about six foot. 25. 25 for Clark and counting. Pickett, crossover. Get some separation. She's trying to play a little pick and roll game with Gentry. And it's thrown away as she was trying to hit it into McKenzie Jones. Oh, tough shot that time from. Clark, here comes champion Christian. To Pavato, she's going to go around. Just throw it up from behind. Ooh. She's made a couple little circus shots as of late. It works. She scored the last five all on her own, 66-45. Now, you had mentioned that uh, champion had, had won their conference last year. They play in the NCCAA, National Christian College Athletic Association. Be interesting to see what they do after this ball game. They play in the NCAA. NCCAA. Oh, I didn't hear that second yeah. C. I was like, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kiri Stevenson um, got the bucket there. 68-45. Timeout. We'll take one with them. We'll be back right after this. 
Cortez Arc, a name you've come to know, is the Arkansas winner of the Quality Dealer Award and Top 5 Dealer in the Nation by the NIADA. Hey, I'm Dare Saul. Thank you to all of our loyal customers who's made D3 Auto Sales the number one used independent in the state of Arkansas. Customer service and community has always been our main focus here at D3. Why are we different? It's our people and our vehicles look different. Your color, your style, your financing. Call me now, D3 Auto Sales in Desert. And we're back here. 68-46, Williams Baptist starting to really kind of have their way in this one. Champions got to get going right now. Pickett with it. She gives it up to Irish Holmes. Now we got a get a jump ball called. Oh, they got a foul. Yep, that foul was on. Who'd they give that to? 23? And inbounded up top. That's uh, Gilliam with the ball, and it's taken away. Another turnover. So the 22 turnovers at half wasn't a fluke. They continued to turn this ball over early and often here in the second half. Got to clean it up. They want to make a comeback. Nice drive from Taylor, but Gentry says, no, ma'am. She blocks it out of bounds. Stays mm. with Williams Baptist. You know, Gentry down there, you know, she's not the most athletic looking person, but I tell you right now, she is a force down low. Yeah, she's a good one. Average 12.7 last year. Looking to add to it this year. Oh, nice, nice. little drive. Yeah. yeah, number 23. Kyrie Stevenson with another bucket. Pick it. They've done a better job on her as of late. Hey, that's Williams putting her head down and getting to the bucket with the left hand. Still down 22, though. That ball kind of loose with it. And here they come. Pick it with the ball. Good job getting back that time was Williams Baptist. Three point shot from Gilliams, no good. Tried to be saved in, and Pickett's going to run it down. Now she'll cross over. She'll give it up to Gentry for two. I'm telling you, Gentry has a point guard like Pickett. She has a good chance to get a lot of points down there. Really good passer is Pickett. Pickett had three assists at half. She's added to it now. That bucket is no good. Charmin. Taylor off the glass, no good. Rebounded from Michaela Williams. She's pushing. She tried to cross over. Good defense from Hooten. It's stolen away, but they're still fighting for it, and she gets it out of there, but then throws it away. Taylor to Taylor. And she'll lay it up and in. Charm and Taylor are with the bucket. Yep. She's got 14 now. That, those The turnovers still haunting the uh, champion Christian Tigers. Quite a bit. Gentry going to work. She's rejected, gets it back. One thing about her, she's not going to quit. If she doesn't get the shot, she'll go for that rebound. If she gets blocked, she'll stay with it. That's what we saw there for a moment. And then she got an offensive foul. Hooten's going to bring it up. Taylor Hooten, she'll give it up to Clark. Back to Hooten. Oh, a little give and go. Shot was no good, but they have it. That's Moore. She gets it to roll the front iron. Nyjah Moore. She's been fun to watch as that sixth woman kind of comes off the bench. Number 40 in. She has a good size on her. That one just a little flat on the side of the backboard and hit the side of the rim. Didn't hit the side of the board. I kind of said that weird, but hit the side of the, the uh, rim there as it didn't have the trajectory it needed to get in. 74-50, pick it all the way. This time too strong. 
Number 40's there. She cleans it up. We don't have her on our roster. Our, our roster stops at 31. Did you hear that name? Is she, is she on the score uh, sheet over there? No. It, our, our roster stops at 31. She's no, number 40. I mean, the score sheet that you got from Oh, the yeah, let me SID. check that. Bucket good from Williams Baptist there. That's number three. Yep. More. H. Brindes is all it says. H. Brindes, number 40. No stats in the first half. She's setting up a little screen. I like how they do that. They do that a little bit with Gentry. Great job on the rebound. She couldn't get it to go, though. But the, what they'll do is they'll come up and kind of set a screen action, and then they'll roll off of that, and they'll post up. Clark's going to go to the line. Kaylee Clark with 25 points, trying to add to it. Quite a crowd coming in here. Uh, chairs up around the concourse area here. Got First free throws good. Got team, the men's team for Champion Christian warming up behind us right now. Second one is good. We believe she has 27 now. It's Kaylee Clark. Pick it. Ball was loose, and then they still keep it. 22 in the game with the ball. She gets it up to Gilliam, and she's going to travel. 22 we have as Reagan Moylan. Also number four in as well. That's April Lanes, a 5'3 guard. Moylan is 5'5 five -five guard. Moore with it, and she traveled. That was an easy call. Shuffled them feet when she turned around. Number 14 in for Williams Baptist. We have, I don't think we said her name yet today. Is that 14 I'm looking at? For Williams Baptist? No, it's 34. That's Kyra Lovings, senior, from Hera, Oklahoma. A little ways from home. Yes. They've got a girl from Pennsylvania, Sinjaya Smith. Sinlaha Smith, I apologize. From Philadelphia, PA. City of brotherly love. Moore on the baseline, gets her own rebound, back up and in. Didn't you call her instant offense earlier? Yeah, I really yeah, did. Off the yeah. bench, she came in, she didn't start. And she yeah. missed some, but she had some great looks and some great moves to the basket and made a few buckets, but... She's, she's definitely a good one to bring off the bench. This, this williams Babs team has some depth. At halftime, they were on pace for 112, and they're still there. With 132 to go in the third, yeah. they've got 80. And Clark, one of the main reasons, she's got 27. She's going to cross over. She's going to drive two steps, left hand, count it. Book it. Kaylee Clark, 29. I already did that once, I know. so I wasn't going to do it again. I just, I had to <laughs> it. was throw perfect it in timing. There, right? I, I really thought about it, too. That's a funny story. Is we were at 3A State last year, and uh, one of the East, don't call it a club, right, Nate? One of the East uh, students, it's the East Initiative. And the the East Initiative at Lamar. They get it right. I don't want to call it a lab or a, or a club. Another thing. As real quick, we get a three-point basket from Reagan Head, a freshman in the game from Tuckerman. There's a little Euro yeah. from Gilliam. She gets fouled. She'll go to the line. But back to what we were talking about, Eli Mays mm -hmm. uh, helped us out last year, and that was his uh, his signature call, the book it. Yeah. Three-point corner pocket book it. He, man, he did he's, a good, he's a good job. Announcer, he's a good announcer, y'all. He's talented for sure. He did a good job with us last year. And then we got Nate sitting here yeah. from that tournament. We hired him. He's <laughs> a freshman in college at Arkansas Tech <laughs> University, one of our sponsors. Traveled around a bunch of old dudes doing but football across the state. Right? He might be transferring to Williams Baptist before it's over. 
<laughs> right? Yeah. I bet you if he finds a girlfriend over here, he will. <laughs> <laughs> you going to hang out when we leave? You know, you're gonna stay in Williams Baptist for, for the evening? Hitchhike back, baby. Yeah, right. Do what you got to no. do. He's ready to get home. We didn't get a whole lot of sleep. We got back to the Airbnb after the the Hoxie and uh, <coughs> Walnut Ridge game and the Cl uh, Clarence and Carlisle and Hazen games. And, uh, of course, we had, I was at Hazen. We had to drive. It was two hours, 18 minutes just to get to where we are staying up here close to Walnut Ridge. And it's been a long night, put it that way, but we're happy to be here and having a fun time as this lead is extended to 31 now. April Lanes tangled up that time. Champion will get the ball. Here comes Sipovato. She'll give it up to Lanes. Now Gilliam with it. She's going to pick up her dribble. She'll get it down in the corner. Menendez off the side of the board, but we got a foul before that. She'll go shoot too. We have her name as H. Brindes, B-R-E-N-D-E-I-S. You think that's Brindes, maybe? Not 100%. Brindes, uh, yeah. If you're listening sure. in the chat, just let us know. She looks good, though. Yeah. Out there stroking free throws. She, good. She's uh, she's looked pretty good, comes in, sets the pick and roll a couple times. and then, Like I said, they like to roll out of that, and they set up a post play. And they're trying to get isolated, I think, on a man to – Woman to woman, you should say. <laughs> I do that with Gentry a lot oh, as well. Don't, don't be so politically correct. Right. I mean, it's been called man to man for a long basketball, time. basketball, you know. Right. Put it in, baby. Yes. Count it for two. With no time left, Kiara Lovings, the senior from Hara, Oklahoma, gets the bucket. And it's back to 31 point lead. We'll take a break. We'll be back for the fourth period and we'll find out. If the students here, what do they get? Some kind of free chicken from the Huddle House or something? If they, they get to 100? <laughs> I don't know. We'll find out. We'll be back. Nothing came easy. But with just five cents, an old truck, and a load of hay, John Tyson and his family found a way to deliver quality chicken to other hardworking people. Today, Tyson continues to find new ways to help put a chicken in every pot. Because people deserve farm-raised chicken of the highest quality. At Tyson, we remain committed to this simple promise, to always keep it real, to always keep it Tyson. All right, we're back here for the fourth period. It's been mostly all Williams Baptist in this one. Um, you've seen a little fire from Champion Christian after they got down big early, down 10 to two. They come firing back and made it, got it within five a couple times. And But second half, right, right at the end of the first half, Baptist, um, Williams Baptist was able to pull it out a little bit, stretch out that lead, and they've done nothing but continue to do that in the third period. Turnovers, 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 that's been the problem for Conway, or Conway Christian, Champion Christian College. The Tigers uh, definitely got to clean that up. They got to figure that out. And that was almost, that was a little, well, you can go in the backcourt, but she her feet were in the front court. So that was kind of tricky there. And that was uh, Lovings who got that bucket right at the buzzer, getting that first shot attempt, no good. Scrum for the ball. Let Eagles come away with it. 25 with a little runner with one hand. That's Reagan Head, the freshman, like we said earlier from Tuckerman. So I think what we've seen is uh, Williams Baptist already kind of emptying the bench just a little bit here. Yeah, both of them are a little bit. Yeah. 15 gets hit in the mouth. That's uh, We don't have her on our roster. Maybe we'll hear the stadium announcer's name. Fallon head. Pickett's still in, though. And they got uh, Gentry back in. She's got the ball right now. She'll kick it back out. Good defense crashing down on her that time. Now she has it. Pickett at the top. Pickett's going to fake the drive. She'll take a three. No good. 
Rebound from number 33. That's uh, Smith we were talking about from Philadelphia. You think she's from West Philadelphia? Born and raised. <laughs> you ever use spray paint for deodorant before? Definitely not. <laughs> I mean, it's a good excuse, right? I, right? Wasn't, I wasn't spraying. Nothing. <laughs> right. 89-56, 33-point game, nine-minute mark. Pickett gets it into number 14. That's Allison Baker. Now, got a made bucket and a foul. Kayla Casarino, six-foot center, going to go to the line for the and one opportunity. Hey, get a little shot of Little Eagle right there on the baseline. It's homecoming today. There's all kinds of things going on up around us, and they were up here earlier during a break at halftime. Fun to see. Oh, took that mascot helmet off. You can't, you can't do that. That's against the rules. <laughs> <laughs> He's over it, man. Head's three-point shot is no good. Here comes Champion. Poked away from behind, that's Sinlaha Smith. Probably doing a horrible job on that first name, I apologize. She's a junior from Philadelphia. Skip pass. Moore, Naja Moore, tries to wrap around. That was too many, too many hands there from Champion. Nice try, Pickett. Oh man, she couldn't finish though. Yeah, I like Pickett, man. She's she's really got do. she's got some potential here. She's she's a one of those little point guards you like as a maybe a change of pace at times right. as well to come in and just really kind of get a pace game going. And she's definitely a nice weapon to have on your team. Head about 17 footers, no good. Rebound though, poked away and stays with Williams Baptist. Monica Horn was the one working on that. Nija Moore with the ball. She's getting a screen. She's going to drive. She gets bumped. She'll throw it up. No call. Now we've got a foul and a rebound on Williams Baptist. This is going to go back to champion. We get a break. Let's get a chance to get those locals back in one more time. Yes, for sure. Do we have any restaurants on there? Yeah. I wonder, I wonder if they do anything for 100 points. <laughs> Not sure. May become a thing. We may talk. We may speak something into existence here while we're up yeah. at Williams Baptist College. I'm University. just wondering if our scoreboard's going to turn it over to 100. We've never had a 100 point game. I know they took a lot of the stars out, but there's that instant offense from off the bench. Naja Moore with a nice bucket. 91-59. Yeah, that when I said Clark and 50, that was one of my things that. Uh, I thought about was, you know, she probably isn't going to get enough minutes to do that. Gentry with the rebound. And then we got a foul. Going to give it to Monica Horn. So on this roster I'm looking at, there are four freshmen listed for Williams Baptist. That's Jasma Hooks. Now, we had her. Yes. I uh, remember calling her name. Um, she was a really good guard. Jonesboro. For Jonesboro in the uh, 5A state tournament a couple years ago. Um, she's a freshman. They've also got Briley Durbin, a guard, 5'6", from Farmington, Missouri. And then they have Reagan Head, we've talked about a little bit, from Tuckerman. And then Sarah Crow, who played a lot today, the 6'2", freshman from Mammoth Springs. Yep. Fr Freshman-wise, I don't have uh, classes, unfortunately, on the champion roster. That ball... Went through the hands of Hooks, who we were just talking about. Pick it. Long three-point bucket. Count it. 94-64. I'm sorry. 91-64. And here's a three from Williams Baptist. Not, not able to make it, but the rebound. Going to get a foul. That's number 20. Briley Durbin, one of those freshmen we've been talking about in there. Yep. At this point, 
27 point lead with 6.05 to go unless something crazy happens here. Your, your uh, game is in hand. The only question is now, do they get to 100? That's, that's going to be the big question remaining in this ball game. Eight points away after the made free throw from Durbin. It's a lot of fun when you get a chance to watch a team that can score 100. Uh, doesn't happen very often, that's for sure. Pickett has it. She's going to hit number 14 on the wing. That three-point shot is long. That was Allison Baker. Gentry on the floor. Comes away to Williams Baptist. One of them freshmen pushing the ball. She gets it to Jasmine Hooks. Back up top now. In the corner now. Driving baseline back up top. That's a nice little pass from the baseline. Can't get it to fall. But Ooh. a tough rebound and the strength to get it back up from Kiara Lovings, a senior from Hera, Oklahoma. She's going to go shoot two. KJ Jefferson looks like maybe a big play. First and 10 for the Razorbacks. They're trailing by three. KJ breaks the tackle, makes something out of nothing, picks up about 20, 25 possibly. Now they'll throw it out with a wide receiver screen. Hogs, six minutes to go. They're down three, trying to drive. Looks like they're in Florida territory. First free throw was good. Loving, second one's good as well. And they're five points away from 100. Tough pass into the entry. It's taken away. Still loose. That's Jasma Hooks. And she'll get fouled from number four, April Lanes. Third and eight for the Razorbacks. 5.34 to go in that game. Trailing by three. Got to travel on the baseline. Jefferson hits a wide open Satania. First down. I probably should stop talking about the Razorback game as much, huh? Is <laughs> that what that laugh was about? I felt it. Three-point basket is good. That's Pavoda. She's had a good game overall. Uh-oh. Here we are, 97. Yep. Three points away from free chicken from somewhere. I don't know if a mom has to make it. I'm not sure, but. Uh, <laughs> not from ASN, I can tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, tough entry this time. Another turnover. <laughs> 97-67. Here we are. Got a chance to see a. You know, like I said, I've have we seen a 100-point game in any game that we've done in basketball on ASN? I'm I not can't sure. remember it. That's for sure. Might have been night when you did North Little Rock and uh, Fort Smith. Was that did that hit a hundred? Uh, no, they didn't. It was eighty-five, maybe something like that. Well, if you want to raise your back update, KJ Jefferson just ran one in from way out. Twenty-five yard touchdown. Hogs up twenty-nine, twenty-six. PAT and pending. Big time, big time, big time. Arkansas's definitely played better today. Getting 30 points down at Florida is a big deal. That three-point shot, no good. Nice rebound. That was uh, Zariah Baker we haven't talked about much. He's a 6'5'8 sophomore from Wynn, not far from here. Couldn't get it to go, though. Three-point shot's no good from... Lanes, and here comes Williams Baptist still needing three points to hit the triple digits. Step through hooks, it's deflected. That's back out to number 20, Durbin. Trying to hit that three pointer right now is what they're doing. Some of them. A little fadeaway, no good. Lanes with the ball. It's a one-on-one -on -one fast break opportunity. She'll get fouled and draw it. She'll get the shoot two. So we're going to keep this stream live uh, yes. throughout, and uh, we'll have champion Christian men's versus Williams Baptist here. Um, 
So stay tuned with us. I'm, I think we're going to get some players and possibly uh, the coach up here. Yeah, definitely stay for that with some players of the game. I expect uh, Clark will at least be up here, see who else he wants to bring. Tell you right now, Charmin Taylor, number one, she did a lot of things that you don't, you know, just talk about a lot, and it's not flashy. And halftime alone, she had, it's actually Carmen Taylor, number zero. She had six assists, four steals at halftime. Um, very impressive. So here comes champion, Kayla Williams. She'll skip it over. They're going to run down. That's going to be over and back. 2.47 to go now. 97-70, 27-point game. So, Williams Baptist is going to be the winner, winner, but will they get the chicken dinner? We're still <laughs> trying to find out. <laughs> with, a, with a can of corn on the side for <laughs> corny, right? <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> you, are, you are definitely Mr. One-Liner. I, I have to give it to you. I do. I have to give it to you. I'll be back. <laughs> Three-point shot from Lanes, no good. Oh, almost a big collision right there. Williams is here. She's going to weave in and out, and she'll lose it, though. Got a little too sped up that time. Time's starting to run a little bit short here on this 100-point uh, bid. They might be in it to win it, but they may not be the chicken dinner winner. You know, from, from everything that we hear from Coach Josh Austin. Uh-oh, that's good. That's good. Everything we hear from Coach Josh Austin, they're not going to worry about the shot clock either, so. If we don't get it here, we might get it the next one. Like a Reese's peanut butter cup. Kiara Lovings nailing that one. <laughs> it's good. Sorry, Nate. I don't know if you remember commercials but or uh, anything with Reese's, but that was kind of a big deal in the 90s. Uh-oh. What happened? We give up a touchdown? <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> 342 to go. Razorbacks, big pass. You, you Am know I what? behind you? Yeah, just a little. They're all the way down at the 30. Good grief. Broken tackles. Down to 26. You know, there's a song that says, oh, Lord, it's hard to be humble. Can we go th triple digits on our board? We're at 99. Uh -oh, we're about to find out. 155 <laughs> to go. I don't I don't know if we're set up for that. Well, we're going to have to expand our horizons. And that's something you can do at Williams Baptist University. You can expand your horizons right. just like Jasmine Hooks did. When she hit that three-point bucket to go up 102-71. it's up there. It's up there. Look at that. Up there. Wow. Beal. Beal Harshaw. You knew it was going to work. He's trying to give us suspense. Our <laughs> right. executive producer back at Pea Ridge. Nice move. I really like, like you said, good-looking uh, player out right there, number 40. Yeah. I think she probably needs to get uh, a few more minutes. H. Brindez. 102-73 now. And they'll get it up the lanes. Oh, my Number goodness. 34, Lovings, who hit that three. She says not this time. Well, in the suspense of the 100-point game, Florida has now scored a touchdown. And you don't say that. All right. 32-30, PAT uh, pending. Up and good. Yep. How are you ahead of me? I don't know, man. ESPN app. It's trash. One day, you can watch the Razorbacks on the Arkansas Sports Network. Maybe. We'll see. I don't know. That's Woo. dream big, right? Right. Here we go. Number 33 for three. It's no good. It was Smith. I've offered to stream their game in Little Rock year after year. Because of the because it's they always a blackout. Yeah. Nice three-point bucket from Michaela Williams. 102, 76, 35 seconds left in this one. Number 33, Smith with the three, no good. 25 seconds left. To Pavato, the starter, she's stayed out there most Come of the game. Come on, man. That, there she that is. Kid. I'm telling you right, yes. Why didn't she start? <laughs> we need to look her up because she needs to play more. and she. We need to find out if she's a freshman or what. That's uh, Brindez is all we have. H. Brindez. Don't even have her on our roster. They're going to get a foul on 20. 
on Durbin. You know, Arkansas never gets to play Florida at home, right? <laughs> it's Seems almost like, like it. a rule. Let's get, before we go to break, let's get those uh, local sponsors out. Yeah, let's pull that up. That's going to be the final 102 79. We're going to get our sponsors up. I do appreciate Adam Staples at State, State Farm and uh, the Cross Tie Restaurant. There is and uh, Cross Ties Restaurant yep. there. Barbecue, burgers, and deli, 870-637-5101. That's 109 East Main Street in Walnut Ridge, Arkansas. Go by and see them. We appreciate all those sponsors. So we're going to try to get some. I don't know. How it, we, we're probably going to be a couple minutes before we get the coaches and players up here. So just hang out with us, and, and we'll uh, kick it I up guess, to a bumper. Yeah, let's for, just, for yeah we'll go to an and extended then, break. Once they we'll come up back. here, we'll get those interviews with you. And then we'll have uh, all the boys' action as well at 3 o'clock. One way that you can see a kid play, and that's the, that's the whole point of what we do, is to allow kids to be seen through the Arkansas Sports Network. We don't do highlight tapes. We do full games. Mm -hmm. And so you can see any kid that you want to just by watching up. No, I thought you guys, matter of fact, that's funny because for us, for me, like I couldn't get out and go to the state tournament because yeah. we were playing. And I actually got to watch a lot of the games through y'all's network. Oh, well, thank you. To, to watch. And the kids we were recruiting, we just signed the Jaron Burrow kid from Manila. Yeah. yeah. You know, and, and just watching. We got to watch his games through the state tournament and seeing him play that we wouldn't have been able to go watch. Tommy Reddick right now playing with onions. <laughs> Burrow for three. Wow. Back at him. This is fun, ain't it? It's a privilege, boys, to be up here calling these games. Number one, thank you guys for what you're doing here. Oh, I appreciate but it. We were watching at home last night. I hope you guys know what you're doing here matters. And you guys have been one of the stories of the postseason is the job you're doing oh. here. And we've got Bree McCrotty on the line here. Congratulations, Bree. Bree, uh, tell us a little bit about how you feel about winning the uh, Arkansas Sports Network and D3 Auto Sales Arkansas Girls High School MVP. Well, I'm definitely honored. I'm really excited about right it. On this front line. Rodriguez, he's going to set up Manny Smith. He goes across the court. The libero's there. That's that freshman setting up. Welch, was it in? I think it was. Nope, it's out. They're calling a tap, though. Oh, there's a miscommunication. Rolling out the pass. He throws it, and that oh, King comes underneath it. He intercepts it. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. He's at the 20, the 10. And he's going to be brought down from behind. And I'll tell you what, Luke King is showing. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Dare Saul, owner and general manager of D3 Auto Sales in Desark, Arkansas. And we are a proud sponsor of Arkansas Sports Network. Arkansas Sports Network has been so great to the communities and small towns of Arkansas and high school sports. They are on their way to be the biggest thing in high school sports. And we're proud to be a sponsor.
Barry Valley, Arkansas. He's a member of WBB Band, William Singers, WEO, Chapel Worship Team, and the Campus Ministries Leadership Team. Sarah's favorite thing about WBU is the community. Dawson is the son of Doug and Alicia Pinter, and he's from Greer Carey, Arkansas, and he's a finance major. He's involved in the Student Government Association. Dawson's favorite thing about WBU is the mission of the university to develop Christ-centered leaders. Your junior court representative, Sarah Futrell and Dawson Enzer. And now for your senior court royals, first of all, Madison Mittag and Joel Harlow. Madison is the daughter of Justin and Michelle Mittag. She's a physical education major from Malden, Missouri. She's a member of Track and Field and the Williams Teacher Education Program. She says her favorite thing about WBU is that it brought to her her very best friend. Joel is the son of Stephen and Karen Marlowe from Pocahontas, Arkansas. He majors in Christian ministry, biblical theological studies. He is in Pocahontas, a member of the Concert and Jazz Band, William Singers, Worship Team, and Campus Safety. Joel's favorite thing about WBU is because of its size, it gives them the ability to have personal and meaningful relationships with everyone. Senior Court Royalty, Madison Mittag and Joel Marlowe. and Madison Knights. <laughs> Madison is the daughter of Dave and Dejira Knights. She's from Albany, Louisiana and majors in elementary education. She's a four-year member of the WBU Lady Eagles softball team and a senior SCA representative. Madison's favorite thing about Williams is the people. He says that being six hours away from home isn't hard being away from family, but the people here make it feel like home away from home. Tate is the son of Baron and Melanie Isaacs. He's a district administration major from Ashland, Arkansas. He's a member of the baseball team, Residence Life, and SCA. Tate loves the way his faith is integrated into everything we do here. He says it's why he chose to come here, and the reason he will be able to say he is proud that he graduated from Williams Baptist University. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2023 homecoming king and queen, Tate Isaacs and Madison. <laughs> to everyone on this homecoming court, we say thank you for representing Williams Baptist University proudly and with honor. We appreciate you. Let's thank all these folks.
lot of hats and do a lot of crazy stuff to get your attention. But we are Arkansas's quality dealer of the year. And it's because we care about our people and our vehicles look different. We specialize in leveled and lifted trucks and we make the process easy. D3AutoSales.com.
from William Baptist University. We've got the player of the game, Kaylee Clark. 29 points in that one. This is your second game of the season, right? Yes, sir. Um, talk to me about what, what it felt like being at homecoming here tonight and, and having our today, I should say, and, and pulling off a big victory as uh, y'all kind of pulled away and had fun in this one. Yeah, it felt really good. It's nice to get here and play in front of a home crowd and get this big of a crowd for a game like this. So it felt really good to win. Proud of our team and proud of the work they put in for this game. Yes, ma'am. You uh, not only had 29 points, but you also had uh, contributed with four assists and three steals. Y'all were turning them over left and right. That was kind of the big deal. I think y'all ended up forcing 36. Well, I don't know if they were all forced, but they committed th th uh, 36 turnovers. Yes, sir. Um, talk to me about the defensive side of things. And we know you can score, but you had a big game on the defensive side. So, so what did you see out there today? Yeah, so we've really been pushing in practice this week our defense because we, we want to beat them in every category. We right. want to beat them in offensive rebounds. We want them to turn it over more than us, and we want steals. So that was a big hit on in practice this week, and I'm proud of our team for the way they came out and pulled that off today. Yeah. So. Yeah, do we need to we need to run any of that back? And we're we getting through a little bit, Nate. Okay. Yeah, we got you perfect now, though. But, uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, just a great game all around. And, and I think you're right. Like you said, you wanted to beat them in every category, and I think you just about accomplished that. I'm trying to find rebounds here, total rebounds. It looks like 45-39, y'all won that. Um, I mean, just, just all around a great game. All, assist was big time margin mm -hmm. in y'all's favor, 27-13. So you doubled them up a little bit, plus one. Um, just a huge victory, Kaylee. Um, you were all conference last year, is that correct? Yes, sir. Did you have any preseason awards? Uh, no, so they don't do. They don't do a whole lot of yeah, that. we okay. just do preseason rankings. Right. So. Okay. Well, I expect you to. It's you know, if you keep playing like this, you know, they ought to. You're definitely gonna have some as you uh, kind of get through the season. I know that's probably individual is nice, but y'all are wanting. You know, you have some team goals that yes, are the sir. the most important thing. So. Congratulations on a big win, Kaylee, and uh, showing off today. It was fun to see you. Thank you. Thank you all for being here. It was fun. 102 points, I think, is what it was. Yeah. I mean, I think it's our first ever basketball game we've had. We've hit 100 at or four football, of course. But, yes. But uh, that was fun. We were like, uh, the we that our producer put the extra digit on there. We didn't even know when we went from <laughs> 99 to 102 if it was going to pop up on our board right. But it did. Uh, great game. And uh, we'll get a couple of your teammates in here and your coach. Thank, Thank you. you Thank you all. There you go. Carmen, right? Yes, sir. Carmen Taylor up here. Um, she didn't have as many points as Kaylee, but she, she contributed in so many ways. 11 points. We have you with uh, eight assists, five steals. Um, just an all-around great game. A couple rebounds as well. Um, tell me what it was like out there to turn them over so many times. That was kind of the difference in the game. Y'all turned them over 36 times. Yeah, it was really good. That's one of our main focuses is defense. So we get the turnovers, we get offense. Easy. Yes, ma'am. You and your sister combined for 25 total points. What's that like, that dynamic, getting to play together, um, playing together really your whole life? playing together. It's like we got a connection. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we, you could see it out there at times. We were kind of making jokes during the broadcast, like, I bet they've done that with either their mom or their dad out in the yard about a thousand times with <laughs> some of those two-on-one yes, fast sir. breaks. Really fun to see. Um, Y'all, uh, this is your second game, right? You, did you win your first one? Yes, you sir. You did, right? And uh, this is the first home one, though. Is that correct? No, this well, is second home. Okay, second home one, but you didn't have a crowd or atmosphere yeah, like sir. this. What was it like playing here on homecoming with this many people in the gym? Was that pretty cool? Yeah, it's really fun. I like playing in front of a big crowd. Right. Gets the energy going. Yes, definitely. And uh, y'all jumped out on them big early. It was 10-2. to 2. You and your sister definitely were uh, – very impactful, getting some of those steals and uh, getting in a fast break, getting in transition. Um, just they come back on y'all a little bit and kind of cut it to five, and then y'all pulled it out and just really ran away with it in the second half. Yes, sir. Uh, great all around game, Carmen. Um, just I really appreciate you coming up here and talking with us. Just like I said, eight assists, five steals, and 11 points for Carmen Taylor. You showed out and. Uh, we like, we like y'all's team. Y'all's make up a lot. We think y'all are going to have a great season. Thank so, you. I do, too. Uh, good game from Carmen, and we're going to get a few more in here as we uh, move on. But thank you for coming up here and talking thank with you. us. What we got? We're going to have Hooten over here. We'll come on this side. There you go. Yeah, that'll work. See yourself right there on that monitor on the top right corner. Okay. All right. 
come this way just there. Okay. I think that'll work. All right, I got uh, Taylor Hooten up here. Hooten, you had seven points, eight assists, four steals, one turnover. Only one turnover with four uh, or with eight assists. I mean, that's a great turnover assist ratio. Thanks. Talk to me about uh, what you saw out there today, how y'all got a, such a good victory. Um, I would just say it was us running the floor. Mm. We talked really well on defense. We had some great switches, um, a lot of steals, a lot of deflects, and it gave us the opportunity to score on the other end in a quick transition. Yes, ma'am. Y'all turned them over. I mean, some of them weren't forced, but 36 total turnovers they committed. Um, they had 22, I think, at halftime. Can't win a lot of games doing that, but the way y'all were turning them over, but you were also sharing the ball, 27 assists for y'all. I mean, that's an incredible. Y'all had 17 turnovers yourself. I mean, it's probably a little higher than you want. Probably, yeah. I don't know what y'all have a go of, under 15 probably for sure, but, yes. but uh, 27 assists to 17 turnovers, I mean, you're going to win a lot of ball games when you when you have that type of ball movement, and uh, y'all really shared the basketball well today. What do you, what's it like playing up here for Williams Baptist University? I love Williams. I love everything about this place. I mean, it's so like as you can tell, this place is packed. Everyone loves to come out mm -hmm. and support. And yeah, it, it was a great turnout. Are you a senior? No, I'm a sophomore. Sophomore. Wow. Yes, sir. Just a sophomore. So you're really loving the experience so far up here in uh, the last couple of years. So, um, yep. We're we're really we're, we're sorry we were really impressed um from all of y'all but the way y'all shared the ball and the way y'all forced the turnovers and your pace you know i mean 100 i think it was 102 was the final um just i mean we have never had a 100 point game before so awesome. in basketball so that was huge so 102 um 70 something i don't even remember the final exactly at the end there but a big victory and taylor hooten showing off today uh playing 28 minutes Eight, eight assists, four steals, doing it on both ends of the court. Thanks for coming up here. Well, thank you. Congratulations thank and you. Uh, look forward to having a good season. Y'all are on your way. Thank you. Get your coach in here real quick. All right. Coach, uh, you turned them over 36 times. And, and did you think coming in that y'all had a chance to, to get a lot of turnovers in this game, maybe, maybe uh, force that on them? Not necessarily that many, um, but I just thought our, our, we played pretty good, you know, right out of the gate. Uh, several turnovers. We, we started off, what, 10-0, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. But one of the things that really helped was even our bench and our sub and the pressure was there, the defense pressure was right. there. So kids coming off the bench uh, kept the defensive intensity up. And, and it's something yeah. we've been working on. Of course, a couple of transfers have, have really helped that in that area. Yeah, I mean, it was fun to see. Uh, we talked about it a lot. Nigel Moore, she comes off the bench. and. She, she kind of missed a few, but she had some great moves to the basket. And got, she did get a bucket early, and she just really, uh, we kind of called her instant offense a little bit coming off your bench, uh, kind of a sixth woman. Uh, talk to me about her a little bit and what she does for you. Uh, Nizen's probably, but Nizen's probably one of the, in our conference, she is probably one of the uh, the best players that, that comes off the bench that right. might would probably start on every other team that, right. that she's on. Um, you're exactly right. Uh, we've been pretty fortunate with her, um, and she's so laid back personality-wise. She just plays her role and does whatever the team needs for. Uh, but you're exactly right. She's instant offense, and yeah. I mean it's it's uh, same as last week against uh, University of Ozarks. I think she had 11 or 12 points off the bench wow. I mean, right off the bat. That's that's what she does, and she does it well. And she's so versatile. She's tough to guard. Um, you put a guard on her, and and she'll post you up. You put a post on her, she'll beat you off the dribble. Yes, sir. Yeah, she ended up with nine today. Um, so many, so many stats are just eye popping. We were talking to Carmen, eight assists, five steals, eleven points. Um, Taylor ended up with eight assists as well, four steals, only one less steal, seven points. Um, only had one turnover herself, and y'all just had a great game, forcing turnovers, and uh, you know that was the difference. We, we were, I think they were hitting forty-eight percent from the field at half, which ain't too bad. And but the, you know, y'all had blown it back out to about a twenty-point lead at that point, and. Um, you know, came out in the second half and continued to force more turnovers. Made it work. It was 22 at halftime and ended up with 36. So you got another, what is that, 14 more? Yeah. So, but, you know, you're playing a lot of players towards the end as well. The intensity dropped a little bit. 102 points. Um, how many? Y'all do that a lot? Y'all get a lot of We like to games? score. We like to score. I don't, I don't know if you could tell. I, I, we like to get up and down. We like to run a little definitely. bit. Transition's pretty good. And, and uh, that's always been something kind of I've pushed. I, I tell people, uh, you know, Coach Alpha was here for 35 seasons, and she was very much uh, – uh, uh, 
Bobby Knight basketball, you know, slow it down, motion offense, set it up, work yeah. the shot clock, beat the post. And when I took over, I, 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 I said, we're going to be, we're going to be pre Golden State Warriors before all the injuries, right. you know, right. you know, Curry yeah. and Clay and Kevin, KD. Oh, yeah. and we're running good and shoot it. Uh, Small ball a little bit, mm -hmm. just get up and move, and that's fun to see. But we're fixing to get some. Uh, uh, Moment Father, of prayer thank here. you so much for this day. We thank you well, for the beautiful weather you've given us. We thank you for a full day with so many alums and friends of the university on campus. Lord, we pray that you would protect these student athletes and that your will would be done and that everything would be done for your glory. We ask this in Christ's name. Amen. Well, Please Coach, you've got a really fun team That's to fun. watch. Um, a lot of good players and uh, good luck on a great season. Looks like you are off to a great start. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, hello. And we're back once again with another game here. This time the men's game between Williams Baptist and the uh, Champion Christian College. The men's game this time. We're going to give you some starting lineups. We'll get to them on the uh, Champion Christian side in just a moment. TJ Clardy, number one. For Williams Baptist, Duke Harden, number 11. Number 21, E.J. Johnson. Number 25, Ben Keaton. And number 45, Javion Clark. On the Champion Christian side, we have number two, Damian Bowman. Number four, K.J. Young. Number 13, A.J. Williams. Number 23, Xavier Hall, and I'm gonna get the other starter, which is number 21, Malik Laurent. Malik Laurent. So, champion Christian versus Williams Baptist. We expect another up-tempo ball game here. Talk to Coach Josh Austin before the game, and uh, Coach Austin talked about how he wanted an up-tempo, fast-paced ball game. So we, we got 100 points last time. We found out, Nate, that the ASN scoreboard goes to 100. We're glad for that. Maybe we'll get another one this year. Who knows? All right. Who knows? We've got Duran Miller over there going to be doing color and camera for us. Appreciate Duran all the things he does. We've got, uh, we've got bumper music up right now. Williams Baptist, first thing, off with the three. That's no good. Ben Keaton on the three-point attempt there. So now 
Champion Christian going to inbound the ball. That's A.J. Williams who has it for Champion. Gets it across the timeline. They're going to set up the offense. Williams running a little bit of a scramble defense. Looks like maybe a little bit of a matchup zone out of this. Champion gets it up to the top of the key. Nice lob back door. They couldn't handle it. Big boy gets it. Goes up no good. Laurent, um, Malik Laurent uh, couldn't make the field goal go down, and uh, Champion going to retain possession. Three on the shot clock, though, as the ball has not hit the rim. Yep, something they got to be aware of right now. That's it, three on the shot clock. Let's see what they got. I'm sure coaches have made them aware. Three on the shot clock, Ooh, ball's thrown away. away. It's, it's in the backcourt, two seconds, one second. Half court shot is up, wow. off no good. <laughs> and yeah, the right distance, just a little wide right. They're going to just run with it there. All the way to the hoop, layup, no good. Follow slam oh, wow. by number 21, E.J. Johnson. And what a way to start the game for the Williams Baptist Eagles. Yep, flushed one down on the offensive rebound. Good job. So, champion Christian has it. Little crossover drill by Williams. He is fouled. Make sure he's not hurt there. He gets up. So, the ball's going underneath. Inbound of the ball is K.J. Young for champion. Get it into Laurent. Ball is in the corner. Coach Austin really trying to get him to trap there in that corner. All the way to the basket. Shot up, no good. Rebound comes away to champion. And now Williams Baptist has it. They kick it up, kick it back. No three there. They wanted it there. Nice ball movement by Williams all the way to the basket. Shot no good. T.J. Clardy going to the free throw line. We were talking to Coach Austin before the game. Clardy is the brother of Chloe Clardy, who ended up being the Mrs. Basketball last year in the state of Arkansas. Played at Conway. Now playing for Stanford. First shot up, and it's true. Second shot up is also good. Two for two from the line is Clardy. And uh, Williams pushing the tempo, pushing the press. Ball thrown away. It's going to belong to Williams Baptist. Four nothing, trying to extend their lead. See what they set up here on offense. Mo Capacci, the coach for the uh, Champion Christian Tigers three-pointer is good there by Duke Harden. Williams Baptist, so far great start here for the Eagles. Yep, seven nothing and took that shot with a man in his face and uh, looked very confident doing so. E.J. Townsend into the ball game now for Williams Baptist. I'm sure you're probably going to see several substitutions with the pace that this team tries to play. On the ball is Duke Harden. He's guarding K.J. Young. Malik Laurent gets it over to Williams. Williams stumbles with it. He's out at the top of the key. E.J. Johnson guarding him. Little hesitation dribble, kicks out long, three-pointer on the way, it's off, no good. Rebound comes to Williams Baptist, 7-0 as we are in here in the first half of play. Nice Big three, no good, rebound goes up, it's good. Nice rebound there by E.J. Johnson. E.J. Johnson listed as six foot five. He's a junior from Memphis, Tennessee. And uh, so far, nice job by him. Nine nothing here early against the Champions Christian Tigers. Looking inside, nothing yeah. there. Go a ahead. A bit of a mismatch, you think, trying to find that, but they're doing a good job of Clardy it, fighting for the ball. He goes up, couldn't quite get enough elevation for the dunk, but he finishes anyway. 
Clardy has four, 11 nothing's the score. We're gonna go to a quick break. Williams Baptist leads 11 nothing. We'll be back in just a moment. We wear a lot of hats and do a lot of crazy stuff to get your attention, but we are Arkansas's quality dealer of the year. And it's because we care about our people and our vehicles look different. We specialize in leveled and lifted trucks and we make the process easy. D3autosales.com. Back to school, yard work, football practice. Don't forget to pay these bills. The schedule is so full, there's no time for a hiccup. Time is of the essence. At D3 Auto, we make the car buying process fast and easy. D3AutoSales.com. Follow us on Facebook. Brad Caldwell, along with Duran Miller, Aaron Powers, and Nate Sparky Sparks here as uh, we're ready to... Uh, Bring you basketball action here from Williams Baptist. If you're watching right now and you haven't shared this out with your friends, let them know you're watching right here on the Arkansas Sports Network. Shot up and good there by number 12. I'm going to have to get his name here in just a moment. I'll get it. Number 12, Joshua Walpole. Joshua Walpole. So he puts the first two in. That traveling violation there on... Number 35, Tevin Tate, a big body six foot five player there from uh, Springdale, Arkansas. Well, I tell you right now, Duran, I th this is reminiscent of old school Razorback basketball right here. The up court, full court pressure and the relentlessness that they're going with. 40 minutes of baptism by <laughs> right, fire. There you go. It sure ain't 40 minutes of you know what here right. at Williams Baptist. <laughs> Uh-oh. Ball knocked away. What do we got? We got a loose ball foul. I guess it's going to be a blocking foul there on uh, K.J. Young. Loose ball foul. Going to be Williams Baptist ball. Two fouls apiece for each team here so far. Inbounding the basketball, Corey Sanders. <laughs> we don't know a name like that. All right? Yeah, not the same one, though. I'm talking about the great point guard <laughs> from Lamar Warriors, Lady Basketball. Nice little high post entry pass going all the way to the hoop. It's number 24, wow. Frank Petion. He puts it in for two, 13-2. 13 13-2. Two. Two. Williams Baptist running in waves here. I tell you what. Started Just, a lot like the last game. Yeah, they they uh, they've got a good looking basketball team here. Walpole pulls a shot long, no good. Rebound. Williams Baptist. Love the effort I'm seeing out of the Eagles. Nice little Euro step. Follow. No need for it because we got a foul. We're going to go to the free throw line for two. Going to the free throw line is number 24, Frank Petion. Instant offense so far for the Williams Baptist Eagles. If you're watching, let us know who you're rooting for in the chat. Let us know if you're watching, if you're rooting for somebody for Williams Baptist or for Champion Christian. Shot up, off backboard, no good. Off back iron, I should say, no good. Second shot up is good. Thank you for the 23 that are watching. Let us know in the comments who you're rooting for. Walpole all the way to the hoop. He's mm. down and looks like he might be a little bit hurt. Ah, he's going to pop up there. He's a tough one. Duke Harden, Tanisa Harden says. That's who she's she is rooting for. Go number 11. Yes. Thank you. Yep, Duke Harden, Chicago, Illinois. Wow. Well, there you go. Which one is he? He's number 11? Number 11, yes. Which team? For Williams Baptist. Okay. Usually those kids that come out of Chicago, pretty tough players. Oh, absolutely. Talking Isaiah Thomas. Patrick Beverly. Well, that's a big drop off right there. When you go from well, Thomas to Patrick Beverly. Not in the toughness, though. They, they, you're right about that. I will agree but with yes. you there. Isaiah Thomas, the greatest, I would say, to ever come out of Chicago. Not 
But at least being from there, right? <laughs> right. Shot yeah. up and good by Petion, and it's 16-4 uh, here. Eagles with the lead, and they're, they're relentless Not good in that to pressure. Not to make dream team, though. <laughs> Three by Petion. It's good. He's filled it. My goodness. Right off the bench, he is on fire. 19-4 is the score. You can tell Duran Champion does not want to play at this pace. No, nope, not at all. It's uh, definitely in the favor of Williams Baptist, and that's give credit to them. They're making it be this way. 19 to four, what a start. All conference first team for Duke Harden. Last year, go Tevin Tate, number 35. Appreciate you joining us here. Shot up, it's no good off back iron. There he is. Big rebound by Pettyon. He's doing all the work right now. I say all the work. He's doing a lot of work. He's Let's say stud. it that way, right? Ooh, Playing nice a lot. Jump got a lot of good players on this team. Number two, DJ Townsend puts it in. 21-4 here. Tell you what, discovering some things here about Williams Baptist and how they play ball. We got four new Players about to come in and about to check in here. Yep. They like to get in pace. Oh, you know. nice. Both nice of the, the, the girls and men's teams, women's and men's teams, they really like to get up and down the court. Nice move there by A.J. Could Williams. we get back-to-back 100-point -back games? Uh, boy, we're well, we're well on pace for one. I can tell you that right now. 21-6 is your score. Woo. Townsend puts it in again, 23-6. And uh, the, the pressure just doesn't stop here. Ashton Young on the ball for Williams, and they tried to uh, do a little bit of a scramble defense. Shot looks like it's good. I think we've got a blocking foul. Yeah, he tried to go around him on the little Euro. They're not going to call. Are they going to say the shot? They are going to say the shot counted. So. Yep. Foul on Corey Sanders. Four new players for the Eagles coming into the ball game. Maximum effort. I, yep. I love what I'm seeing here. And that, that's what you want when you kind of do this platoons, um, you know, subbing. You, you you tell your guys, I want you to go all out. We're going to get you subbed for, you know, it's going to hurt for a second, but you're going to be, you're going to go to the bench, you get a breather, we'll come back in. We want to go 100% all the time. All the way, baby, all the way. We've got a decent crowd watching right now. I appreciate you guys tuning in for us. Wow. For long wow. Day, uh, what a start for this team. Nice splash brother Duke action Duke right Harden, here. Marquita Williams, your man. Tiger Booker also, and J.V. on Clark. What a, what a start here for Williams Baptist. Leaves it for the trailer all the way. Nice oh. ball movement. Shot is up. It's good. Unbelievable. 28 points. 13.03 left, so six minutes and 57 seconds of time elapsed here in the first half of play. It's 28 for Williams Baptist. They're trying to score 200 tonight, baby. Shot is up. It's good. Wow, what a play there by Williams. Yeah, very nice step back. Big time shot there for Williams. And bringing the ball up the court is DJ Townsend, and that's one way to keep him out of the break. You make a shot. That's what they did right there. Townsend being blocked by the Ejected. much taller player, and I'll have to get his name now uh, here in just a moment. We don't have roster in front of us for for uh, champion. Oh, so let me get, get some new players in here for champion. And I'll get their names in just a moment. Robert Kerrigan is coming in for champion. Also, Noah Brooks is in, or unless they have, we got a timeout. We'll just stay right here. Let's go to our local sponsors if we can. Um, and then I believe number 10 just shot the ball. We appreciate uh, these local sponsors here. Kate, Gabe George uh, also in. I think I got caught up there. We'll find out after the timeout. But we appreciate you uh, for joining us here. If you could see, you got Walnut Ridge and Hoxie logos up there. State Farm of Adams, or from Adams Staples, the Adams Staples branch of State Farm. And then you got Cross Ties Diner, Barbecue Burgers and Deli, 870 637 5101, 109 Main Street in Walnut Ridge, Arkansas. We appreciate those guys. They were in with us last night. We come up here and we did the Hoxie Walnut Ridge rivalry game there. And uh, what a game it was there last night. 
as Hoxie, our number four team in the Arkansas Sports Network poll, ends up winning that ball game and moving on, winning the 3A3 conference. Here we are now, though, with Williams Baptist. This is the fifth game that we have done in three nights. We've did three football games and now two basketball games here, and uh, we're loving what we're doing. Nice move. Shot is up, and it's good by Ben Keaton. And, uh, man, Williams Baptist is relentless in the pace and uh, just the tenacity that they have here on the floor. Yeah, they really are. It's fun to watch. Sure and is. It, it's tough to watch if you're a champion fan because, you know, it, just that pace, it almost feels like you're playing more than five players out there when they run it at you constantly. Nice shot there by Noah Brooks. Brooks puts it in for two. Makes it 30 to 13. Another. That right? They are not shy. That's all right. And look at that. Oh, he got bumped. You yep. can tell that the, the freedom that uh, Coach Josh Austin allows them on the offensive side, they feel that. They're, they're letting it go. They're letting it fly right now. Going to the free throw line is Harden. Uh, oh, Keaton's going to the line. My bad. Harden was on the line there for a second, but Keaton is actually at the line. Keaton's shot is up. Off no good. So KJ Young back coming back into the ball game. Or I'm sorry, coming off the floor, I should say. Nope, he is coming into the ball game. He's coming in for AJ Williams. Williams bad with some pace for about 65 and a half right now. <laughs> yeah, about 130 for the game. Right. Three from the corner up. It's off. No good. Big rebound there. Yeah, nice he's been shot. active. You don't have his name, right? I got it. Noah Brooks. Noah Brooks. Yeah. He's, uh, he's made a lot of plays. Good-sized kids. You know, one of the things that Champion has is a size advantage out here. Very tall basketball team. And we've got a, an illegal screen going the other way. Yep, moving screen up front. EJ Johnson picks that foul up. 10.56 remaining here. In the first half of action, 31-15 is the score here on homecoming day at uh, Williams Baptist University. So we're, we're just getting familiar with the Walnut Ridge area and everything that goes on here at Walnut Ridge, both high school and college. Relentless defense on the half court, relentless defense in the full court. And a foul is going to be on Clardy. So that's the 16 foul. So next foul will put Champion into the bonus. KJ Young working against Harden. Clardy Almost flashing still. the passing lane. There's there Harden. It is. First team all-conference player, dribbles behind his back. He's waiting for somebody to get there. Little 18-footer, no good. Rebound was no good. Shot was no good, and rebound comes away to champion Christian. Well, williams Baptist hasn't scored for about a minute and a half now. It's, it's crazy, right? Oh, nice play. Good yeah. job there by K.J. Young. Yeah, it's been the longest that they've went in this yep. game so far. Nice little floater from Young. But they're going to keep going at it, Drop. I can tell you. Now they had a couple chances right then. I mean, just before in that last possession, got an offensive rebound in there, still couldn't get the put back. Like you said, they're not going to get they're not going to give up. They're going to be relentless. And here we go. Yep. Cross court uh -oh. pass uh -oh. is intercepted. That's Robert Kerrigan. He, he you could see he wanted dunk all the way there, but uh, it looks like four new ones are going to come in. Coach Josh Austin not really pleased with what's going on on the floor right now with this group. How do you pronounce 24's name, Pettyon? Pettyon is what I got from the announcer. And we've got a timeout, Williams Baptist. Mini run here by Champion Christian. We're going to go to a quick break. 31-19 is your score. 9.23 left in the first half. We'll be back in a moment. Nothing came easy, but with just five cents, an old truck, and a load of hay, John Tyson and his family found a way to deliver quality chicken to other hardworking people. Today, 
Tyson continues to find new ways to help put a chicken in every pot. Because people deserve farm-raised chicken of the highest quality. At Tyson, we remain committed to this simple promise. To always keep it real. To always keep it Tyson. We're back here at Williams Baptist University. 31-19 is the score. We want to thank our sponsors, D3 Auto Sales and uh, Tyson and um, Heirloom Legal. And we can't, I know, I know, I know, <laughs> I know. I can't go there, but we want to thank all of them for being sponsors with us all year long here on the Arkansas Sports Network. If you haven't already, you can hit that like button, follow us here on the Arkansas Sports Network. We have a high school page. We're all over the state of Arkansas. I like this pity on kid. And I'm telling you, he's he's aggressive, instant offense. That's the fifth team foul there on uh, Champion Christian. And I believe that foul comes to Noah Brooks. No, that's what no, I'm sorry, they just changed that to Xavier Hall. First shot by Pedion is good. Second shot is up. It is also good. 33-19 is the score. I'll tell you right now, you can see that uh, Coach Josh Austin is a pretty good recruiter. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> you definitely a, see that. Yeah, he's a pretty good recruiter. This is a, a talented bunch of players here. Uh, and, and you can tell that he really gets them to buy into what he's doing here at Williams Baptist. Here, this is his 12th season here. Yep, shot is up, it's no good. And now Williams Baptist in transition, three from the corner, no good there by number 10, Corey Sanders. Three no good, that's way off there by a champion Christian. Pettion on the break all the way, shot up good. That's too easy that time, we gotta stop the ball, we gotta get in front of him, cut him off. He gets it up with that left hand. 35-19, 8-18 to go in the first half. Now, in, I got a new player in for champion. Got to get his name, Dylan Hopkins from Judsonia, Arkansas. All right. Judsonia. Just down the road, not yeah, very far. not far from Hot Springs, is it? There he is, Where? Hopkins, three-pointer, no good. Where is Judsonia? Just, just outside of Searcy. Okay. You're saying not far from here. Not far from here. 35-19 here as we're under the eight-minute mark here in the first half of action. Things have cooled off just a little bit. We were on a 130-point pace. Not quite there, I don't think, anymore. But that, I no. think we're, we could get it there pretty quick with a few good good well, makes. But uh, that shot is off. No good. Champion has it. I've Gets honestly it out to young. only scored four points in the last four minutes. It was 11-something when we had 31. So there you go. That's when I said they were on pace for about 65 yeah. and a half. Yeah. Shot by number three, Robert Kerrigan, no good. Now Williams has it. Kerrigan out there, good looking athlete he is. Guard now at the top of the key. Little fader by Sanders, no good. It's a lot like our first game. Um, Williams Baptist jumped out to a huge early lead and then Champion settled in and cut it close for a while. We'll see what happens as we get further on. Four new ones coming in for Williams. And I'll tell you one thing, I, I want to, I hope we get a chance to see uh, Jaron Burrow here. That was yes. a kid that we saw last year in the 3A state tournament. And uh, we came up here and talked to Coach Josh Austin. And they said he watched him play on our network and really got a chance to see him. And then it was shortly after that that they signed him to a, uh, a scholarship offer. So. Uh, yeah, felt Something like we had a little hand in that. Yeah, really proud to hear that kind of news. One reason we do this. Oh. That's a good entry, but even better defense on the backside. You know, and the thing about that defense right there is, you know, there's nobody that's that tall out there for uh, for Williams right uh, now. The size quicker. advantage is way, way more on champion side. 
but uh, they're relentless on the defensive side of the ball. That was an open three for Damian Bowman, though. He puts it in for three. It's 37-22. Clardy back. Another ball steal. stripped away. K.J. Young in transition. He gets close to the basket, going to kick it out, has nowhere to go, and they're going to set up an offense there with A.J. Williams. Williams gets it down to the wing. They get it down to the big fella, Laurent. Laurent puts it in for two. Yep, and I don't need any more of that. That's right. That right there is going to be a bugaboo or could be a bugaboo for this Williams Baptist team. Back to a 13-point ball game. Javion Clark has it, kicks it out to Harden. He pulls a three. It's short, no good. Uh-oh, trouble with they yeah. rebound it. The cardinal sin of uh, saving it under the opponent's basket. Sure don't look at do that. Time. He got away with it. Got yep. away with it. Williams has it, kicks it out to Xavier Hall. Hall pulls it, 18-footer, puts it in. It's good. And Coach Austin yep. wants another timeout. We're going to take one with them. 5-0-2 remaining here. In the first half of action, 37-26. Yep. We'll be back in a moment. Our lives when we need the help of legal services. Well, let Leah Jacobs at Heirloom Legal at 425 North Church Street in Atkins be your go-to when you are needing assistance. If you're needing a will or a trust, maybe you're helping an elder parent with Medicaid issues or planning on opening a brand new business, maybe you have another legal need. Jacobs can help you plan your next step. That's Heirloom Legal, helping families build and protect their legacy through estate, elder, and business planning. Call 501-819-2553 and walk-ins are welcome. Thirty-seven twenty-six. We're gonna be looking for a place to go eat after this yeah. ball game. Drop us we, some comments. Where's a good yeah. place to eat close to Walnut Ridge? Yeah, we're, we're going back to the west, so Jones southwest, Rose, go, yeah. west, southwest. Yeah, yeah. Jones Rose out. So right, we're not going and, back. To and really way. south for a yeah. while, then west. But that's all right. Five oh two remaining. We've had a great weekend here on the Arkansas Sports Network. At first, we started with uh, Murfreesboro and Mineral Springs. That was the number one team in 2A by our poll and playing the number seven team by our poll. And the number seven team, not only did they upset the number one team, but they won the conference championship en route with that upset. And they ended up uh, getting the one seed out of the 2A3, yep. and uh, they get a, a, a pretty good draw, I think. And that was a lot of fun. We had a major viewership there last night. It was Carlisle Hazen, Hoxie Walnut Ridge. Major viewership there. Today we're here as Car Clardy puts it up off back iron. No good. But uh, we've had a great weekend here, Duran. Yeah, we really have. And uh, we appreciate all the hosts at every place we've been. Top notch. Showed us uh, great treatment. And... Uh, I had a great one last night at Hayes and Carlisle. Such a such a good game. And then I still got that Thursday night game though. That, that was just a great atmosphere. About 4,000 people showed up at Murfreesboro. They were letting them in about 3, 3.30. They were filling up the stadium already. Oh yeah. Standing yep. room only. I'll tell you what, we we sometimes we luck into to great ball games and that was what we sure did the other night. Harden yeah. shot up, no good. Mm. Rebound comes Physical. away, and I, he just stole it from him. Yeah, he did. I thought he might have got poked in the face in the middle of it, too. So stayed with it. J Javion Clark puts it in. Coach Austin trying to get his troops to, to fire up a little bit here. Defensive efforts doing a little bit better than it was before the timeout. Clardy has it. He's being guarded pretty heavily by Walpole. Clardy, big body guy who's handling the ball well, but he's blocked by Laurent, and they kick it out, three on the way, it's up, it's no good there by number two, Damian Bowman, and it's still an 11 point lead for the Eagles. We got a foul out there. And that's going to be the six-team foul, and it's going to be on Walpole. And now with 3.17 to go, both teams' next foul will put the other one in the bonus. Payon will inbound it right back to him. Little shot up, no good there. 
Boy, off. they have really cooled off. A little bit. Scored eight points in the last eight minutes. That's a point a minute. Yeah. If you're from uh, Mackens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, big three in by Damian Bowman there. And uh, man. I'm telling you, it's a lot like that first game. And it was right about now where Williams Baptist kind of pulled it out right before the half right. and extended that lead back up to close to 20-ish. Penny on missed the chippy. It was a nice drive. Gone cold a little bit here. So Williams Bat our uh, champion getting some uh, momentum right now. They're yep. starting to feel pretty good about things. And they're they're going to go to the free throw line now. So free throw line for the champion Christian Tigers the rest of the way. Two and a half minutes left here in the first half of action. It's been a fun one here from WBU. Shot up, it's good. Shot up and good. It's just a six-point ball game now. Who would have thought? It looked like, looked like uh, Williams Baptist was going to uh, run away with it there. Now they got to find a way to put one in, and when you do that, get your guy Petty on up there, put it, get it into his hands. He's been really, really good so far today, and we're coming up on the two-minute mark in this ball game. I say in this ball game, in the first half, I should say. K.J. Young has it, being guarded heavily by E.J. Johnson, and shot up and good. That's uh, probably not what Coach Austin wants right there. Six-point game once again, 41-35. Now, you can tell here, Duran, that, uh, that that frenetic pace, they feed off that energy. The energy's not quite there right. for Williams Baptist right now. Yeah, you're exactly right. That would be a big bucket. It's not going to fall, but an offensive rebound. Big rebound there, and that that uh, the height advantage there played a factor in that as Ashton Young tried to get it up there, couldn't put it in for the Eagles. Got a chance to get it within one possession here if you are champion Christian. 13 wanting to drive here. Good defense from 45. Shot up, no good, and that was a big possession there. Pedion has it. Yep. Pedion on the attack, all the way to the hoop. Yeah. Shot up, no good, and they're going to get a foul. That's going to be a two-shot foul. That's going to put Williams Baptist into the bonus. You've seen it as soon as he got that rebound on the other end. He was not giving up. He was going all the way to the bucket. Really like watching, watching him, Pedion. Absolutely. He's been... He's been pretty good so far. He's gone cold as of late. He hasn't hit a bucket in a while, but. Shot up and good. Maybe that'll help. He's got 15 points right now, leading everybody. Yeah. And, you know, they've needed them. They've needed those points for Did sure. Did he start? Or he come in on the first platoon? I he, think he's. Yeah, he come in on the first platoon. Did not start. Wow. Second shot, in, in and, and out, out, no good. And you know, from our understanding, there's a there's a guy that's waiting in the wings right now yes. for this Williams Baptist team that's not gonna hurt them at all. Yeah, his eligibility starts in January. And coach said he might be one of the best bigs he's ever had. So that's some some lofty praise right yep. there. Slipped on the, the floor there, but they were able to keep the possession. Looks like energy's working a little bit better for. Williams Baptist, Pedion yep. now with the rebound. He's on the attack as he has been the whole first half. Pedion gets turned, goes all the way to the basket. He can't go Took up against Lawrence. Yep. Lawrence too big there. Took the bump with the left shoulder, tried to get it up with the right hand. Couldn't get the shot to fall. We got 15 seconds. Champion probably going to hold for one shot here, 42-35. Trying to get it within at least five, possibly four, all the way to the oh, basket. Deflected. Got it deflected, three seconds, two seconds, all the way to the hoop. It's Blocked from behind us, Penny, I put it in. It worked. Put it in. Book it. Put it in for two, big play there 
by Pedion. His energy has been unbelievable here in the first half. Williams Baptist gonna go to the half with a 44-35 advantage. We're gonna take a quick break, give us time to kind of catch our breath here and uh, we'll bring you some halftime stats and analysis in a few minutes. Stay tuned here on the Arkansas Sports Network as we bring you Williams Baptist University Eagle Basketball. One way that you can see a kid play, and that's the, that's the whole point of what we do, is to allow kids to be seen through the Arkansas Sports Network. We don't do highlight tapes, we do full games. Mm -hmm. And so you can see any kid that you want to just by watching up. No, I thought you guys, matter of fact, that's funny because for us, for me, like I couldn't get out and go to the state tournaments because yeah. we were playing. And I actually got to watch a lot of the games through y'all's network. Oh, well, thank you. To, to watch and the kids we were recruiting, we just signed the Jaron Burrow kid from Manila. Yeah. yeah. You know, and, and just watching, we got to watch his games through the state tournament and seeing him play that we wouldn't have been able to go watch. Tommy Reddick right now playing with onions. <laughs> Burrow for three. Wow. Right back at him. This is fun, ain't it? It's a privilege, boys, to be up here calling these games. Number one, thank you guys for what you're doing here. Oh, I appreciate but it. We were watching at home last night. I hope you guys know what you're doing here matters. And you guys have been one of the stories of the postseason is the job you're doing oh. here. And we've got Bree McCrotty on the line here. Congratulations, Bree. Bree, uh, tell us a little bit about how you feel about winning the uh, Arkansas Sports Network and D3 Auto Sales Arkansas Girls High School MVP. Well, I'm definitely honored. I'm really excited about right it. On this front line. Rodriguez, he's going to set up Manny Smith. He goes across the court. The libero's there. That's that freshman setting up. Welch, was it in? I think it was. Nope, it's out. They're calling a tap, oh, though. There's They're a miscommunication. Tap. Going out to pass. He throws it, and that oh, King comes underneath it. He intercepts it. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. He's at the 20, the 10. And he's going to be brought down from behind. And I'll tell you what, Luke King is showing. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Dare Saul, owner and general manager of D3 Auto Sales in Desark, Arkansas. And we are a proud sponsor of Arkansas Sports Network. Arkansas Sports Network has been so great to the communities and small towns of Arkansas and high school sports. They are on their way to be the the biggest thing in high school sports and we're proud to be a sponsor. During the Great Depression, nothing came easy. But with just five cents, an old truck, and a load of hay, John Tyson and his family found a way to deliver quality chicken to other hardworking people. Today, Tyson continues to find new ways to help put a chicken in every pot. Because people deserve farm-raised chicken of the highest quality. At Tyson, we remain committed to this simple promise. To always keep it real. To always keep it Tyson. Back here on the Arkansas Sports Network coverage, Williams Baptist University taking on Champion Christian. And you can see on the screen here, Champion Christian shot the ball well from the free throw line with 100%. They were five of five from beyond or from free throw. Williams Baptist not too bad themselves, seven of ten um, from three point range though. Neither one of them shot it all that strongly. 30% uh, from um, Champion, 25% from Williams Baptist, 3 of 12 there. And then you had turnovers, and turnovers has been a little bit of a story, not as much as it was for that women's game, right. Duran, but nine turn turnovers for uh, Champion, four for Williams Baptist. Yep, turnovers uh, still a problem, though, for Champion. Um, down by nine, and they've committed five more turnovers. 
Uh, right now they're actually shooting better uh, from the arc. Free throws are perfect, and um, they just got to clean it up a little bit, clean it up. And uh, right now for Williams Baptist, they just kind of cooled off, and the shot, the, the shooting cooled off a little bit. They they jumped out on them early. They got to get back in that rhythm. They definitely feed off of uh, getting up and down, feeding off the crowd when when things are going well. They get another run in them, it may be too much for champion. You know, if they have another big 10 to two top run, something like that. But it's kind of what they want to do, and they're definitely good at it. So let's see uh, how they continue. And maybe they they, they kind of might kind of weather down champion a little bit too in this second half because. They've been subbing a lot on the other side, platoon subbing and staying fresh. I imagine that uh, Coach Josh Austin probably preaching energy, 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 energy Rough. here in the, the half because the energy was high early Rough. and it was causing Champion a lot of issues. But as the game wore on, the energy kind of went down a little bit and it ended up getting the game, I guess, just a bit closer. But uh, 44-35 still the advantage here. Nine-point lead as we come up uh, here in halftime. So, again, just hang with us. You can see the crowd there. Duran throwing it out there, showing you all of the crowd here. Pretty packed gym here at, for homecoming weekend here at Williams Baptist uh, University. I almost said college. Can't do that. Wow. So let's throw up the local sponsors from last night. Let them get a little bit of love here. Appreciate those guys for being a part of what we do here. Adam Staples at State Farm here in Walnut Ridge, along with the Cross Ties Diner, Barbecue Burgers Deli, 870-637-5101. We appreciate you guys for being a sponsor. And yes, that's not a Williams Baptist logo. That is Hoxie and Walnut Ridge. They uh, sponsor for both teams during the game, and uh, we do appreciate it. It's not them. Clemson or Hawaii either. Right, right. <laughs> Somebody actually mentioned that it on the broadcast. It is actually Hawaii. That, that there's zero difference in that their logo. Um, Hoxie with a big win last night over Walnut Ridge. Hoxie looked good last night. Yep. And, and, you know, Walnut Ridge, you know, before the injury to their quarterback, which they don't have a quarterback because they run the single wing offense, and, but, you know, before the injury, Walnut Ridge was giving them all that they wanted. Um, it just didn't, after the injury to the quarterback, which I heard was a pretty serious one, um, it just didn't work out for Walnut Ridge after that. But Bro. I still expect Walnut Ridge to win a game or two in the playoffs yeah. for sure. Good team, and uh, it was a great night. And I was, like I said, I was over at uh, Hazen with Carlisle, and I thought, I thought Hazen was going to do it, you know, and. Uh, they were up six nothing and a half. Carlisle come out, scored 20 unanswered. Hazen, well, I say that, 14 unanswered. Hazen come back and tied at 14 all, but Carlisle was too strong in the end, winning that one 20 to 14. Yep, so anyway, well, we're gonna go to a, a break here, and uh, when we come back, we'll have more second half action, or we will have second half action between uh, Williams Baptist University and Champion Christian College. So hang with us. We'll be back in a moment. Our lives when we need the help of legal services. Well, let Leah Jacobs at Heirloom Legal at 425 North Church Street in Atkins be your go-to when you are needing assistance. If you're needing a will or a trust, maybe you're helping an elder parent with Medicaid issues or planning on opening a brand new business, maybe you have another legal need. Jacobs can help you plan your next step. That's Heirloom Legal, helping families build and protect their legacy through estate, elder, and business planning. Call 501-819-2553 and walk-ins are welcome. D3 Auto Sales in Desarc, a name you've come to know, is the Arkansas winner of the Quality Dealer Award and Top 5 Dealer in the Nation by the NIADA. Hey, I'm Dare Saul. Thank you to all of our loyal customers who's made D3 Auto Sales the number one used independent in the state of Arkansas. Customer service and community has always been our main focus here at D3. Why are we different? It's our people and our vehicles look different. Your color, your style, your financing. Call me now, D3 Auto Sales in Desarc.
are back here on the Arkansas Sports Network coverage of Williams Baptist University basketball here. Again, we want to thank uh, Josh Austin, the administration here at uh, Williams Baptist for allowing us to come over here. And, uh, you know, I was, I was looking over here. We got, got some banners up here, softball banners. Apparently, uh, kind of a big Baptist deal. Baptist pretty here. serious about some softball. Oh, yeah. Sure, you got men's wrestling. Uh, you know, and I basketball teams are both, I think, picked high in their conference this year. So there was some work over here at uh, Williams Baptist College. That, that gummit university. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't say it, right? I got corrected last night in, in the comments. But that was okay. I was fine with that. <laughs> some of the other ones I wasn't so fine with. That's okay. All right, here we go. We've got 20 minutes of action left, 44-39. Uh, <laughs> what? What's it doing? What do you think, Nate? What's it doing, bud? Nate just likes that bumper. Yeah. Um, you know, it's probably better than our first one for sure. Oh, it is. It, I love that bumper. Laurent, shot is up. It's good. Right off the bat, Laurent puts it in for two. Malik Laurent, and it you, is 44-37. You remember the old Pottsville bumper about four years ago? Yeah. That was actually pretty good, too. Ooh, he might have got away of a walk that time. Ball knocked away, and Champion gets it out to Malik Laurent. Oh, Laurent wow. puts it in. Nice finish, nice That's hand. some nice body contortion as well for the big man. If the basketball thing doesn't work out for him, might need to go try a tight end out in the NFL, you know? Yeah, Antonio Gates in right. it. Kent that State, was, Stan Heath. That was impressive. Clardy puts it off back iron. And WBU right yep. now. In a little bit of trouble, you can tell uh -oh. champions uh -oh. filling it. That was a big one right there. That would have hurt. Yeah. That would have been big for the momentum, but goes off of them after the air ball off of number two, I believe. So 44-39 and Williams Baptist trying to get things figured out a little bit here. They got to find a way to get some easy buckets. Shot up, no good, and that's going to be yeah, a foul. It's a late whistle. On Xavier Hall. Champion hated that. But there was some banging on offense and defense. They were staying in the ground down there. Number 23 was. Is, uh, number one was banging his shoulder down a little bit, trying to get position. And finally got a foul, a little swipe. I tell you what, this champion Christian rostered a lot of them from, the, from Arkansas. Lots well, of them. In Hot Springs, so. Yes, but you see a bunch of them. Right, <laughs> right. and then on, on Williams Baptist, how many you got? It ain't a whole lot. I know on the girls it was only like three from uh, Arkansas, I yeah, think. Yeah, it, it's, uh, oh, there's a few here. It's kind of half and half. Party gets one to go down, It's or two to go down. It's 46-39. That helped Williams Baptist holding on to this lead. That's that's kind of one place they yep. think they have a big advantage. They got to take, and there he goes. He would he get th two rebounds on that? Yep, he did. Two offensive boards there, and uh, you're right. They've definitely got the advantage there when it comes to height. They're there. So now what Williams has got to do is figure out how to get that uh, that relentless pressure that they started the ball game with back. And I'll tell you, Duran, it's hard to keep that type of energy Intensity, all yeah. game long. <laughs> We've got the uh, queen. We we brought that to you as well earlier on homecoming. Getting into the stands over here, front left. Homecoming here at Williams Baptist. 46 46 I've never seen a homecoming second game of the season. That's that's kind of caught me off guard. First home game. Yeah. Well, no, they said they played second oh, home game. Okay. That's what I was thinking too. But second home game. Little crossover dribble action, ball knocked away. You know, they get it into Laurent, he kicks it out. The in and out three, it's up, it's good. That right there is the highest percentage three that you can shoot. This is a two point ball game, folks. Yes. It's William, been a really good comeback here. Gotta find champion. a way here to get some 
get some offense, and I think they've got a little bit of it possibly coming off the bench there as uh, Frank Petion coming in. And uh, he is in for Clardy. So Champion has a chance to tie this game or take the lead here. Ball's thrown away oh, though. Really. All the way to the basket, shot about. up, no good. Duke Harden going to the free throw line though. He's shooting two. Yeah, they had nine to four turnover advantage. Uh, Williams Baptist did at half and right there, champion with a chance to tie it up or take the lead and they throw it away. Harden going to the free throw line and I tell you, Duran, when you look at games like this, you could sit here and look back at moments like that and say, mm -hmm. what if? What if, and that, that could be one of those. So anyway, Harden at the free throw line. First shot is up and good. Here is second shot by Harden. It is also good. Living at the free throw line as of late. Right. And Still struggling from field goal range. Yep. They, they've got to start trying to create points off turnovers as they started with. And you know, that's the thing about champion is they've kind of got that under wraps just a little bit. Big, t good defense and we've got- Back to back turnovers. Yep. Referee says that that wasn't touched and uh, K.J. Young does not agree with that call. Right. Still shaking his head, no, that's not right. Looked like Sam Pittman at the end of that Florida game when they were trying to spike the ball. Of course, we hate spikes in Arkansas, unless we're doing the spiking. <laughs> kind of got burned on that down on the plains of Auburn. Right. Down at the War Tiger. Auburn coming Whatever to town. Auburn coming to town next week. Big man shot up. No, I thought it was no good. Got the home bounce there. Go. Tevin Tate putting yep. it in and, and six point advantage now for Williams Baptist. That was that field goal they've been needing for a while. Coming up on 16 and a half left here in the uh, second half or in the ball game. Shot up, yep. no good. Petion with it. Petion has it, gets it up to Harden. Harden gets to the basket. Shot up, it's no oh, good. Wow. We got a foul. Foul is going to be on Noah Brooks. Took a lot of contact that time. Got to get the free throws, so. though. And you got to give credit to Williams Baptist. They keep coming downhill and they keep putting pressure on you and getting to the free throw line. And that's going to eventually cause some foul trouble if they keep that up as well. Right. 50 44 is the score. And that's one thing about, you know, if you want to get out and run, you know, you're a drive to the basket, kick it out for open threes kind of team. You ought to be pretty good at trying to get those, uh, drawing those fouls. Harden puts it in, waiting on shot number two. Second shot up, it is good. Like a Reese's peanut butter cup. It's good. 52-44 <laughs> is the score. And Williams got a little bit more on-ball defensive energy. Ball almost turned over. Champion gets it. Young puts a three up. That's a big one right there. Almost turnover turns into three points for the champion Christian Tigers. And we're going to take a timeout. Let's throw our locals up. If we can, appreciate these guys. Adam Staples of State Farm and uh, the uh, Cross Ties Diner, Barbecue Burgers and Deli, 870-637-5101. Appreciate all of these locals that have helped us out. What do you think, Duran? What am I thinking about? Barbecue, when you bring barbecue up, I'm thinking we're hungry and we're <laughs> gonna go eat somewhere. On the way home, right. and uh, we, we were going to eat there, but I think they're, we got some their hours are not going to work out for us today. But uh, what I'm thinking about right now is number four. What's his name for champion? Number four, K.J. Young. 
He is uh, really impressing me. He hit that three just a moment ago. The possession before he drove had a nice little one-handed runner. It was uh, it was short, went off the front iron. But he's putting some pressure on him. He, he you know he was the one that got called for the over and back. He wasn't happy about that. And, Seems like he's kind of taking it upon himself to kind of be on the offense since then. And it's worked out for the most part. Five point gain. Williams Baptist has to get some offense going right now. They're doing a good job of getting downhill and they're getting some foul trouble. But right now they're really just cold. They've been cold since they got to the 31 point mark. You know, they haven't hit a lot of field goals right. since then. Well, five point advantage, as you said. And, uh, you know, Williams is definitely dependent on getting points off of turnovers. Turnovers have been taken care of for some of it anyway, and we got a foul on champion. Duke Harden just grilled that one for about 35 there. But it didn't count, so foul on champion, and uh, Williams Baptist will retain the basketball. Harden throwing it in to number two, uh, DJ Townsend. Pettion has it. Good move. Oh. Nice move there by Tevin Tate. Tevin Tate showing off. Double T's putting the two in. It's 54-47. Three from the corner. No good by Champion. Harden with the rebound. And, you know, this is back-to-back -back games, the girls in this game, though. We've had a lot of post action. Some old school big men. And uh, it's been fun to see. I like, you know, that, that part of the game is kind of going away a lot. And it's fun to see it today. Harden has 12 points today. That's blocked. And, and it, looks, it feels like the momentum could be swinging back into the favor of Williams Baptist. Pettion leads Williams Baptist with 12 points. Townsend has it. Pettion's got 17. Yes, I'm sorry, 17. That's correct. 17 points for him and uh, 12 for Harden. Right now, the only two that are double figures in the, uh, I believe, for William Baptist, but on the floor right now. Hall puts it in and uh, gets it back to a 56-49 score. Really get past that time down into the post. It's easy for him from there. Pettion has it. He's on the attack, goes against Hall. Hall and gets one. the foul, count the bucket. And uh, that's going to be two going to the free throw line for three. Awesome. To the line for the He can get 20 points with this bucket right here. Give us a like if you're enjoying the uh, broadcast here of the Williams Baptist ball game. Uh, we also have a cash app at AR Sports Net. Or if you're if you're interested and you enjoy throwing it out there a little bit, we would appreciate it. It, it always helps, I promise you. Jada Martin on our YouTube chat says, number 11. Number 11 Red is Hearts. the man. He, he's doing the work today, along with Frank Pettion. Loose ball, there he is, Pettion. Three on one, all the way to the hoop. Pettion uh -oh. up and under, left hand shot, no good. Had the numbers, he probably should have passed that one. has the break. Try to throw the lob, it yeah. was in. I don't think it was exactly the way they wanted it to go in, but Malik Laurent gets it too. Yep. And that is a 59-51 ball game. Here's, Here's still an eight point advantage. Not quite got the, the alley, but he had the oop. Didn't flush it down. <laughs> Hard and and bake crossover here. dribble. Good defense. Oh, Tate, another spinner. There he he puts it in. Tate. Getting some easy buckets. I say easy. They're close buckets. Tate doing a good job there on the post. He's not nearly as tall as Laurent, but he's doing a good job with that big body. And you could tell with the, the Tate down there that Coach Josh Austin, he's not super interested in a guy that's not going to be able to run for him. That's right. If uh, if you're a big body, he can, he can handle a 6'5 post, man, if he can – I guess hold his position. Right. That's kind of how they're built. They kind of got that positionless basketball going on in their favor a little bit. Got a bunch of three fours, you know, four guys that get up and down and they like to small ball you. 
That's what he told us. Duran, I'll give this to you. I know it's going over the broadcast. Rocket Sanders today, 18 carries, 103 yards. Wow. Yeah. So, just give that to you, yeah. a little nugget. Come back from injury once Dan was gone and uh, showing off. What do you think about that? <laughs> There's a lot to <laughs> There's say. There's a nugget Look, right there. There's a lot to think about it, I can tell you. 61-52 is the score all the way to the hoop. DJ Townsend for two. And uh, Williams Baptist seems to be getting a little bit of but, offensive rhythm hey, back. Rocket is from the state of Florida, and it's nice to see him come back and, and get a first 100-yard game of the season. Right. Lawrence rushing for 1,400 Shot plus no good. Year. Now we got a little bit of a break here. Harden kicks it out. Petion puts it on the ground, Ooh. and he's going to be fouled. Yep. Foul's going to be on Robert Kerrigan. That's going to be, I think, the 16th foul. So. Is that, Close is to that it? bonus? Oh, wow. One more and it'll be Already. in the bonus. Already six. So, yeah, yeah they're doing a great job. That's what I've been talking about. Great job of putting pressure on them. Good job, Nate, keeping that clock right. 12.48, we're right on schedule. Good job there. 12.48 and 12.48. That's not the easiest thing to do. We know that. Sixty-three, fifty-two, eleven point advantage. Harden has it, top of the key, pulls a long three, off right, no good. AJ Williams comes away with it. All the way to the hoop. He's challenged, he's contested, he still puts it in. Nice bucket from A.J. Williams. Good drive that time. Nine-point advantage now. He's a guy that you can tell every time he gets the ball, he likes to slash and try to drive to the basket. Re uh, good spin Listen, move. What is going time. on with Mr. Barkley down there? Man. Doing his Sir Charles. He's got eight. What's oh. his name again? Tate. Tate. Tevin Tate. Yeah, Tevin Tate. Wow. He, he's got a good body to, to – Balance out number 21. 65-54, Williams with an 11-point advantage. Three from the corner by Kerrigan, no good. Rebound comes away to number 25, Ben Keaton. And I say Keaton, it could be Catton. I, I'm not totally sure. Tevin Tate gets the there rebound. He He's trying to get his 10th point of the half. It's no good. On the break is champion. Reverse layup oh. blocked by the rim. And that man, Keaton, I'm going to stay with that for now. Is it K-E-A-T-O-N? It's K-E-T-O-N. Oh, okay. Yeah. So just one E, no A. One E, no C. <laughs> it rhymed. I'm sorry. I don't. Uh, it went over my head. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hey, someone hit that, Keaton, hit that blue button on the right there. Keaton, Keaton, that's the line. Yeah, right there. No, oh. that's not the one I wanted. Oh, well, we'll try it again some other time. Shot up by Keaton, good. Crickets is the bottom left, I know that, the purple one. Don't do it right now. <laughs> that was pretty funny. We were at Murfreesboro the other night, and we actually said something kind of funny, and at the same time, someone leaned up and hit that on accident, and we were like, it was fitting, but we were like, where is that coming from for a second? Right. I forgot we even had that on our board. Kicked out. Champion College has it. Puts it on the deck. Shot is up. It's good. Great drive there by A.J. Williams. Now champion, pressing the pressing team. Sometimes they say pressing teams don't like to be pressed. Clardy handled Ooh. it pretty well. Petion going to the free throw yeah. line. He went and down hard. That's going to be two shot foul. Yep. And that's the eighth team foul. Two more, and they'll be shooting two from here on with 10.55 still to go right now. 11 point game. If you like high school sports around the state of Arkansas, I think you'll like the Arkansas Sports Network. Yes. If uh, 
you know, we we cover the Razorbacks quite a bit. We also cover high school sports. I know that we've got a lot of Williams Baptist University people in here, but also know that is also parlayed with a probably a lot of Razorback fans as well. So I just want to let you know you can go like us there on the Arkansas Sports Network. I, I don't even know if you can like people anymore. It's only follows. Maybe I, I'm not sure. But anyway, with that said, do one of those. And then uh, we've got subscribe. Hit that subscribe subscribe button with a notification yeah. bell. Yeah, ring that YouTube. bell and it'll give you the option to get all our notifications. I've been subscribed forever, but my bell wasn't set up right where I could get notifications. I hope you've got it set up right now. I do. <laughs> Good job out of the trap there by Champion, and we've got Turnover, Eagles basketball. Not sure what the call was. I didn't see any. Was it the travel? I missed it as well. I was looking for a ref to make a call, and I just missed it. But anyway, Frank Petion now into the front court. 68-56 is the score. Keaton has it. Puts it on the deck. He sees an open lane. They call a foul on the ground, which is going to put Keaton to the line. I believe that is going to be the ninth team foul. So with that being the ninth team foul, the next foul will put Williams Baptist in the double bonus. Keaton at the free throw line. Shot is up, it's good. Checking into the ball game is Harden. Duke Harden going, coming in and then checking in for champion is number five, Dylan Hopkins. 13 point lead here for Williams. Shot up and good. 70 to 56. 14 point lead. Williams Baptist have been able to, to push the lead out just a little bit. Three, oh, not three, I'm sorry. Long two, no good. Rebound comes away to champion. Lawrence has it. They got a got an offensive it, foul. What do we got? Timeout. Ball underneath. Timeout. So we'll take a full timeout. 70-56 is the score, and we'll be back here in just a moment. You're watching ASN. We appreciate it. Nothing came easy, but with just five cents, an old truck, and a load of hay, John Tyson and his family found a way to deliver quality chicken to other hardworking people. Today, Tyson continues to find new ways to help put a chicken in every pot because people deserve farm-raised chicken of the highest quality. At Tyson, we remain committed to this simple promise, to always keep it real, to always keep it Tyson. Over the years, you've seen me wear a lot of hats and do a lot of crazy stuff to get your attention. But we are Arkansas's Quality Dealer of the Year. And it's because we care about our people and our vehicles look different. We specialize in leveled and lifted trucks and we make the process easy. D3AutoSales.com Back here on the Arkansas Sports Network coverage of the Williams Baptist University Eagles halfway through exactly here, second half of action, 10 minutes to play in this ball game. Williams Baptist with the lead. Champion trying to inbound the basketball. They try to get all it in, way. it's stolen away by Clardy. Clardy all the way to the basket. Oh, oh baby! Puts it down for two. Ball's knocked away again. They call a foul. That was going to be two in a row right there. TJ Clardy, you know, he tried to dunk it earlier. Couldn't quite get his feet underneath him. That well, time he got it. Yeah, we, we didn't know exactly why earlier. It wasn't the lack of athleticism. That's for sure. He tomahawked that one. Big time, big time move, big time play there. And... Uh, 16 point advantage now for the Eagles.
So they're trying to get some sweat up off the floor right now. And that's what they do. K.J. Young going to inbound the ball. Get it in, ball knocked away. Frank Pettion has it. Turnover starting to become a major issue for Christ, uh, Champion College Christian. Champion Christian College. Pettion get her up. goes right to the hoop, puts it in for two. Pettion's got 23 on the day. Skip pass, three up, off the wing, no good. Ball knocked away, Pettion has it. Tell you what, Pettion sure does play a whole lot bigger than what he's listed at 6'3". Yeah, he does. He's got a good size to him, he's thick, he uh, do a little bit of everything. There's Duke Harden, first team all conference player. Left-handed layup is good, Harden. Had a nice game himself. He's got 14 today. Play a lot of good defense as well. Wow. Shot Met at the rim that time. Pettion's going to pick up the foul on that one. What's Ford's name again for, for uh, KJ Young? Champion? KJ Young. Yep. He flashes at times. I thought it starts with number 24, Frank Pettion, his first personal fourth team foul. Shot is up, it's good. He makes this one to be his 12th point. He's had a nice game today. He will lead all of uh, champion with a make. And he does. He's got 12, A.J. Williams has got 11. He's still putting out a lot of effort out there. Yep. yep, a little chicken wing yep. that time. I was wondering. A little, little too much behind that one by Penny on. Right. Or that was 45. Uh, what's his name, Brad? I don't have a roster in front you of me. You say 45? Yeah. J.B. on Clark. I believe that was who had the offhand there, a little shove. Yep, it was. That's his fourth foul as well. And one more, he's out. Played a lot of ball today. 18 point lead here, with eight and a half to go. Three, no good. Chased it down, is champion. Whoa. Yeah. Come on now. A little Kyrie Irving fancy going on. We Hardy can't get it has ball. it. Now he gets it out to Harden. Harden behind the back dribble, knocks it down for three. Duke. That was nice. Duke Harden has 17. The Duke. Nice play. Shot up by Williams. It's no good. He was fouled on the shot, though. So Townsend going to pick up the foul for Williams Baptist in a 21-point lead here with 8.01 to go. And the question now is going to be, can they get to 100? <laughs> First free throw is good. Yep. Yep, he ties up TJ with the team lead. He can take it back right here. Second shot up, also good. 8.01 to play. I know they're losing right now, but I like a lot of the players on this champion team. They've got some pieces to work with here. I'll just be honest with you. I. I have seen more than I expected from both the men's and the women's teams. Right. I, I did, agree. I did not expect to see much, and I have seen pretty good performances. Harden, Duke. come on now. Harden He's pulls it. it from NBA range right there and beyond. It's 20 for him. That was Steph Curry range right there. And 82-60. This was a one, what was it, a two-point game? I yeah. believe at 46-44. Yeah. Something right? like that. It was pretty close to there. And but boy, man. Williams Baptist has found their offensive rhythm again. They've been able to push this lead and really, really make some hay here.
Look, well, nice little move there by yeah, uh, Noah Brooks there. Just a quick little reverse pivot, you know, like fake it left and go back to your right side for the shot. Keaton, nice pass. Tate has it. He's going to the free throw line. Foul is going to be on Xavier Hall. So we're going to try to get Coach Josh Austin and some players up here. I, th I think we're going to have to get a chair out so that we can actually talk to these guys because they're going to be way <laughs> taller than I am. <laughs> Bank shot by big Tevin Tate right there. Make it 83-62. Think he called it? I doubt it. Second, Second shot. It's it, the oh, same okay, thing. Okay, okay, hold on. Hey, maybe, yeah. maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> I think maybe he's practiced that. A high arching yeah. off the bank. Hey, it's there for you. Use hey, it. The bank was open, and I was hoping to get a bank sponsor, but we didn't get it done this weekend. A.J. So Williams puts it in. Yeah, right. And, uh, you know, we might come back up here for maybe a Hoxie game in the playoffs, possibly. Yeah. Rebound champion, 84-64. Williams, little fatal shot, no good. Rebound by Brooks, his shot, no good. Yeah, Second shot, bad. no good. Wow. Got a foul. Who's it going to be on? Going to be on. I think it's number, on number two. Number two. Oh, oh nope. Never mind. It's offense. That's or, it. Or it's defensive. Mm, interesting on that one. I didn't. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I felt like that it might have been the other way. Didn't you? Yeah, I mean, that was I – th I thought – I agree. That's what I was thinking. I thought he reached in. But there we go. So, sometimes that size will get you. Got that imposing right. frame on you. And Quit picking on the little guys, right? Yeah. Good on both free throws. Nice looking stroke from number two. 84 66. High scoring ball game here. 6.25 to go. Again, the question remains will they be able to pull 100? I'm going to say no. We'll see, though. Clardy has it. Gets it to Harden. Harden There's pulls Harden. another three. And the rebound time. comes away to champion. Oh. Yep. He tried to pick it yep. up to make a pass, and he put it back down every touch. Yeah, that stinks. Looking up, guy looks away, and you just can't make yourself pass it. A lot of pressure in the back. Yep. They're doubling them. That's the two leading scores. They get it done. Can they score off of it? Ooh, knifing to the basket. No good. Tate has it. He gets it up to Keaton. Keaton has it in the front court. Gets it to Clardy. Clardy kicks it out hard, and he's open three. I'm shocked that that one didn't go down. I thought it was going to hit right there. But yeah. uh, Clardy knocks it out of bounds, and it's going to belong to Champion. His last two, were, they both looked good. Didn't fall. So... Now Champion has it, trying to cut into this lead. 5.35 remaining in the ball game. Good backdoor cut. Put it in for two is Xavier Hall. He's going to the line for a third one. And uh, I don't know if you've got it. We actually got bonuses on both sides, brother. Got double bonus on Williams Baptist. And then we've got bonus now on Champion side. There you go. Hardy coming out of the game. Petion coming back into the game. Shot up and good. 16 point advantage now. Petion has it in the front court. We got a new one into the, the game for champion. Petion goes all the way to the basket. Put it in. Give him 25. Two. Trying to make it 26. Put it in for two there. Him and Duke trying to duke it out for uh, who's going to get the top score. He's got 25. Duke only 20, so 520 to go. Duke needs a couple more of them threes to fall. And they'll right. also help you get that chicken dinner over here for the boys game. Cade Wilson into the ball game for 
champion. Another tall fella. There's Duke with it. Gives it up. Long three. Oh, my. Oh my goodness. That was from the 10-foot line in volleyball. Put it and in. The dunk. Put it in, big fella. Tevin Tate. He's got 12. Boy, he's had a nice second half here. Yeah, he has. 88-69. Good backdoor cut. Great pass. He couldn't handle it. Ball was knocked away, though. 88-69 he is your score. Malik Laurent coming back into the ball game. He's, he's the biggest of the big fellas. Nice Block. job by Tate. He's blocked. We got a foul, though. Hmm. I think they're saying he kind of came down with it. And you get that call a lot. Not sure I agree with that one. He blocked it and he got it back, and I don't know if they were calling it on the felt second like, attempt or what. I feel like he was pretty straight up. Gravity probably caused that foul as much as anything. But they didn't ask me. They didn't take a poll and say, hey, sir, do you think that was a foul? <laughs> All right. 88. 69. Trying to make a 70 right here. He missed the first yeah. one. Second be his shot. fourth point. If he gets it, it goes. It is good. Now, Williams Baptist back with it. Harden has it in the front court. Kicks it out to Townsend. That's a travel. Traveling violation. You know, the one thing that I would say about this Williams Baptist team is this. Keep the energy high. I think you've got a chance to be a very, very good basketball team. I'm telling you, this team reminds me so much of these old Nolan Richardson teams back in the day. Just high energy and the, the pressure defense and all that, but you know, if if the energy gets low, could be trouble, you know? Right. Hard it's, to beat them at home. It sure is, sure is. Keaton has it. Oh, a little nice play there by Keaton. Between the legs, finish with the left hand. Now you said no that not too long ago, but uh, Hundred, it's ninety with four to go here. Yeah, I just at the being a twenty-point lead, we could see a bunch of freshmen come in here in a minute. We'll see though. I thought it was number eleven, Duke Harden, his second personal. Duke Harden picks up the foul. To the line shooting two, Yes. 13 points now for TJ. KJ. KJ? KJ Young. Oh, man. I thought you were saying TJ Young earlier. Uh, nope. KJ Young. He's got 13. Now he's yeah, got he, 14. He and AJ Williams have really paced this champion yeah. team. Williams, number 13. Harden wide open. That's way too easy right there. He was yeah. too open on that one. Couldn't put it in. So, champion. And there's Williams. Got to right figure here. out a way to get this thing closed out quickly. If they're going to have any opportunity uh, here. Young dribbled off the Petion back of has leg. it. He's trying to call a timeout. He gets the timeout. What a great hustle play there by Frank Petion. Impressive performance from that young man. We're going to take a timeout with him. We'll be back here in just a moment. Nothing came easy, but with just five cents, an old truck, and a load of hay, John Tyson and his family found a way to deliver quality chicken to other hardworking people. Today, Tyson continues to find new ways to help put a chicken in every pot because people deserve farm-raised chicken of the highest quality. At Tyson, we remain committed to this simple promise, to always keep it real, to always keep it Tyson. Over the years, you've seen me wear a lot of hats and do a lot of crazy stuff to get your attention, but we are Arkansas's Quality Dealer of the Year, and it's because we care about our people and our vehicles look different. We specialize in leveled and lifted trucks, and we make the process easy. D3AutoSales.com.
Here we are, we're back. You can see the Williams Baptist cheerleaders here and uh, it's been a great day here at Williams Baptist for both teams. We get the women's team. Uh, I forget the final score. It was 102 to something, was 70 it? 70-something. Oh, yeah, and then, I said and the same thing in the interview. Right? I didn't. I was too far away from my stat sheet over there, but actually yeah, I had what? that one in my hand. But I just didn't think about it being on there, the final. But, yeah, man, it's, it's been a good one. And Williams Baptist having a great homecoming, it looks like. Never want to lose your homecoming game. Laurent going to pick up a foul. Laurent doesn't like the foul. He said he was straight up. I'm not sure I agree with him. That's okay. Again, he didn't ask me. Do you agree with me? I mean, they're not taking polls up here. All I know is I'm hungry. <laughs> Nate says, yes, sir. <laughs> these uh, these broadcasts and these games definitely cause weird hours of eating. Right? Yeah, I for mean, sure. We were at a McDonald's in Brinkley last night at about – no, it was Wendy's. Wendy's at like 12.30, somewhere in there. And then y'all were at a Waffle House and um, Paragol. Yep. At midnight. No, that was like at 2 in the morning, actually, about 1.45 or so. 91.72, 318 to go. Ball knocked away. Got, is that another new player? My goodness, they just play them all over there. Here we go. Number three. Yeah. And I mean, he looks like an athlete. Got good size on. Looks about 6'4, six, 6'5. Six, Aiden Henderson, a Murfreesboro, Arkansas oh, man. product. We were just over there Thursday night. And he helps get the steal. Uh oh, deflected. They save it in. Champion has it, 2.58 to go. 19 point lead for Williams. Williams just needs to figure out a way to hold on to it for under three minutes to go. And there he is on the rebound. So Harden has it, gonna bring it into the front court. The clock is the friend of the Eagles right now. Yep, you can tell them the coach wants them to take the air out just a little bit here. Harden been a very, very impressive player today for Williams Baptist. Yep, 20 points on the day. Uh-oh. Oh, I uh, thought we might get a one-handed flush there for a moment. Oh, they try. They try to get it up to Henderson. Henderson has back to the ball there. Fill that lane, young man. Fill that lane. And your head won't be turned away from the ball. 2.16 to go now. It may be all over but the crying here now for the uh, champion Christian Tigers. I do think that they've got a chance to go on to bigger and better things in their NCCAA conference that they play in. I'll have to learn a little bit more about those guys. I mean, you, you can tell. Is it You said Anderson or Burma 3? I'm sorry. Number three's name, Anderson from Murfreesboro. Now, Henderson Hen is Henderson's the guy on Champion Christian from Murfreesboro. Oh, my bad. Number three is Ashton Young. He's from Buford, Georgia. Okay, he just checked in, right? Yes. He hasn't been playing all day, has he? That I remember. Not much. Right. He. he honestly, I think he looks like he has a lot of potential. A little euro after the whistle there, just messing around and. Uh, He's gotten up and deflected one right when he came in. He also got a rebound a minute ago. In and out, no good. Yeah, Murfreesboro not far from where Champion College is. Yep. Inside, little high-low action, nothing there. They do get it back, though, off the deflection. And that's two points. Minute and a half to go now, 92-74. Duke Carton has it. He's working against Henderson. Come out a little run, a little ball screen action. Not much doing there. Harden has it. A little crossover dribble, kicks it out. Three from the corner up. Put it down. There he is. In the book. It's good. 95-74 here. We're going to try to get... Coach Austin and some players up here. 
Oh, nice no yeah. look. It's in trouble, down inside, though. big fella can't make it happen. Under a minute to play. Williams Baptist gonna go on uh -oh. for a victory. Alley oop. Knocked it down for two. 97-74 here. They may fall just a little bit short of that 100 mark. Three from the quarter for KJ Young. 30-second timeout. We've got uh, some subs coming in. And uh, let see me see some Jackson Burrow here. Jaron Burrow, yes, Jaren coming Burrow. in. I apologize. Um, let's see here. Oluwadara Iduwu. Right. 44. Yes. Mac Jaron Burrow Looks into about 6'8 to me. Caleb Anderson in the game. Jaden Ramsey into the game. Burrow had a chance at it there. 14 sec or I'm sorry, 34 seconds to go. Going after it, ball knocked away. It's going to belong to Champion. You can hear these fans. They're, they're, they're wanting that chicken dinner. They couldn't get the shot <laughs> off. You keep saying that, and people are like, what is this man talking, talking about? about? <laughs> Under 20 to play. Maybe some Whataburger for us. Three, no good. Bur Burrow with the rebound. Gets it up in the front court. Oh, nice pass. Too fancy. Too fancy at the end. Can't get it in. 4.9 to go. 97-77. They do is they keep throwing the ball down low to him. Throw that right. thing up above the rim. Let him go get it. There you go. And that's going to be the ball game. Final score here from Walnut Ridge. Williams Baptist University beats Champion Christian College 97-77. We're going to effort to get some players up here. Talk to Coach Josh Austin here in a few moments. Give us a minute. Try to get things together. We'll be back here in just a few moments as you watch our promo. One way that you can see a kid play, and that's the, that's the whole point of what we do, is to allow kids to be seen through the Arkansas Sports Network. We don't do highlight tapes, we do full games. Mm -hmm. And so you can see any kid that you want to just by watching us. No, I thought you guys, matter of fact, that's funny because for us, for me, like I couldn't get out and go to the state tournaments because yeah. we were playing. And I actually got to watch a lot of the games through y'all's network. Oh, well, thank you. To, to watch and the kids we were recruiting, we just signed the Jaron Burrow kid from Manila. Yeah. yeah. You know, and, and just watching, we got to watch his games through the state tournament and seeing him play that we wouldn't have been able to go watch. Tommy Reddick right now playing with onions. <laughs> Burrow for three. Wow. Right back at him. This is fun, ain't it? It's a privilege, boys, to be up here calling these games. Number one, thank you guys for what you're doing here. Oh, I appreciate Glad it. We were watching at home last night. I hope you guys know what you're doing here matters. And you guys have been one of the stories of the postseason is the job you're doing oh. here. And we've got Bree McCrotty on the line here. Congratulations, Bree. Bree, uh, tell us a little bit about how you feel about winning the uh, Arkansas Sports Network and D3 Auto Sales Arkansas Girls High School MVP. Well, I'm definitely honored. I'm really excited about it. Right on this front line. Rodriguez, he's going to sit up. Manny Smith, he goes across the court. The libero's there. That's that freshman setting up. Welch, was it in? I think it was. Nope, it's out. They're calling a tap, oh, though. There's they a miscommunication. Tap. Rolling out the pass. He throws it, and that oh, King comes underneath it. He intercepts it. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. He's at the 20, the 10. And he's going to be brought down from behind. And I'll tell you what, Luke King is showing. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Dare Saul, owner and general manager of D3 Auto Sales in Desark, Arkansas. And we are a proud sponsor of Arkansas Sports Network. Arkansas Sports Network has been so great to the communities and small towns of Arkansas and high school sports. They are on their way to be the biggest thing in high school sports, and we're proud to be a sponsor.
During the Great Depression, nothing came easy, but with just five cents, an old truck, and a load of hay, John Tyson and his family found a way to deliver quality chicken to other hardworking people. Today, Tyson continues to find new ways to help put a chicken in every pot, because people deserve farm-raised chicken of the highest quality. At Tyson, we remain committed to this simple promise, to always keep it real, to always keep it Tyson. Over the years, you've seen me wear a lot of hats and do a lot of crazy stuff to get your attention. But we are Arkansas's Quality Dealer of the Year. And it's because we care about our people and our vehicles look different. We specialize in leveled and lifted trucks and we make the process easy. D3AutoSales.com There comes a time in all of our lives when we need the help of legal services. Well, let Leah Jacobs at Heirloom Legal at 425 North Church Street in Atkins be your go-to when you are needing assistance. If you're needing a will or a trust, maybe you're helping an elder parent with Medicaid issues or planning on opening a brand new business, maybe you have another legal need. Jacobs can help you plan your next step. That's Heirloom Legal, helping families build and protect their legacy through estate, elder, and business planning. Call 501-819-2553 and walk-ins are welcome. We're going to wrap things up here on ASN. Been a great time here. Appreciate you guys joining us here on the Arkansas Sports Network. Thank you to Williams. Coach Austin's going to be up here in about three minutes awesome. to give some interviews. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, appreciate uh, the folks here at Williams Baptist for allowing us to come up here and be a part. What they're doing here, homecoming game, two successful games here. Um, on the Arkansas Sports yep, Network for crowd. the Williams Baptist University. Yeah, great crowd, great turnout here. Um, Williams Baptist, both teams showed out, showed a lot of pace and play. I mean, we had combined 199 points. Yeah. So, I mean, 102 and seven, uh, 97. Yeah. It was really a fun day for everybody that's a, an Eagle fan, that's for sure. I'll tell you right now, both teams play a fun brand of basketball. That's, that's for sure. You get a chance to see – up tempo, you get to see a, get a chance to see uh, two teams that are, uh, uh, I think they're intense and they play well, they play hard. And uh, anyway, well, if you like what you've seen, appreciate you. Uh, hopefully, uh, we've done what you wanted us to do here on ASN. And we like, like I said, we're going to wait on Coach Austin to get up here in just a moment. And uh, we've got some comments. Let's see, great game, Duke Harden. E.T. Kathy watching you. Go Duke Harden. Let's go Duke. So we got a lot of Duke Harden fans in the comments. And that was pretty much all day long. Right. Yeah, so. definitely. Uh, Jada Martin multiple times and uh, and Tanessa Harden as well. Um, several others. So Duke Harden's a ball player, man. He's a good player. Oh, he really is. Ended up with 20 points. We got the stats. You want to get to those? Yeah, let's do that real quick. Uh, as you can see on the uh, champion Christian side of things, they were, let me see where we're at here. I see the number, but I'm trying to make it match here. Well, there we go. I see it now. From the free throw line, 88.9% from the free throw line. They were 16 of 18. They shot the ball well yeah. from the charity stripe. Um they only shot 26.3 from behind the arc at 5 of 19. And then uh, they had 20 turnovers. That was a big deal for them today. And, you know, just as you had thought, they'd kind of got that under control, kind of caught back up with them again. Right. 13 steals in the game for William Baptist. Yes. And and you said the points off turnovers, what was that? Uh, points off turnovers was 29 to 6 in William's favor. That's right. I see and that now. 23 point difference and what was the final? Um it was 97-77. So there there you go. 3 point ball game right. right there if you eliminate that. So the only four fast break points is what they're calling it here for Williams Baptist today. So that's an interesting deal there as, as uh Williams didn't get that many fast break points but they ended up uh, uh still with lots of points off turnovers and um, 
Ended up, what, we got on our graphic there, 76.7% from free throw, 49.3 from two-point field goals, and 30% from three. Yep. Uh, they were, what, 23 of 30 from free throw and 6 of 20 from three-point. So, also, they uh, they outscored they outscored uh, champion in the paint, 48-36. And then you said the big one there earlier, the bench points. 46 bench points for Williams Baptist, just 13 for champion. So, anyway, we're going to get prepared here for Coach Austin to come up here. And, uh, do again, we appreciate you joining us here. And uh, we're, let's, let's go to a quick break here, and we'll come back. Hopefully we'll have Coach Austin as soon as we come back from break. Does Arc, a name you've come to know, is the Arkansas winner of the Quality Dealer Award and top five dealer in the nation by the NIADA. Hey, I'm Dare Saul. Thank you to all of our loyal customers who's made D3 Auto Sales the number one used independent in the state of Arkansas. Customer service and community has always been our main focus here at D3. Why are we different? It's our people, and our vehicles look different. Your color, your style, your financing. Call me now, D3 Auto Sales in Desert. During the Great Depression, nothing came easy, but with just five cents, an old truck, and a load of hay, John Tyson and his family found a way to deliver quality chicken to other hardworking people. Today, Tyson continues to find new ways to help put a chicken in every pot because people deserve farm-raised chicken of the highest quality. At Tyson, we remain committed to this simple promise, to always keep it real, to always keep it Tyson. There comes a time in all of our lives when we need the help of legal services. Well, let Leah Jacobs at Heirloom Legal at 425 North Church Street in Atkins be your go-to when you are needing assistance. If you're needing a will or a trust, maybe you're helping an elder parent with Medicaid issues or planning on opening a brand new business, maybe you have another legal need. Jacobs can help you plan your next step. That's Heirloom Legal, helping families build and protect their legacy through estate, elder, and business planning. Call 501-819-2553 and walk-ins are welcome. Back to school, yard work, football practice. Don't forget to pay these bills. The schedule is so full, there's no time for a hiccup. Time is of the essence. At D3 Auto, we make the car buying process fast and easy. D3AutoSales.com. Follow us on Facebook. During the Great Depression, nothing came easy. But with just five cents, an old truck, and a load of hay, John Tyson and his family found a way to deliver quality chicken to other hardworking people. Today, Tyson continues to find new ways to help put a chicken in every pot. Because people deserve farm-raised chicken of the highest quality. At Tyson, we remain committed to this simple promise. To always keep it real. To always keep it Tyson. Well, we're back here. We're still waiting on Coach Austin. I hope that you're waiting with us. We, I think we've got a few still waiting with us over there. Yeah. And uh, we get a chance to just hang out. I've got to kind of right. get down where I can be the same height as you, Brad. There we go. Let me, let me duck down a little bit. Is you're, that about right? About 5'9"? You're, you're, so, you're so delusional. Sorry, here we Four. go. Six foot, five oh. foot. I'm actually 5'10 and a half, and I don't know. But anyways, here we go. Come on, Coach. Your guy. We got our switcher gone to the bathroom or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, this is big stats there. Yeah, let me jump that real quick. All right. Well, Coach, number one, thanks for letting us come. Oh, man, this was awesome. I, I can't say enough about you guys. You guys are awesome. I, I've been watching you guys for a long time, and I'm like, dude, we got to get you guys up here so up here so i appreciate y'all well we appreciate you yeah and i'm gonna bring you over here because you're oh just quite out. Out. Yeah, right. there you go um so tell us how you felt about your well you don't know a lot about your team to be honest <laughs> with you so 
Tell us a little bit about how you felt about your team's performance today. You know, we it's it looked like a first game. You know, uh, champion, hey, I give them credit. We knew coming in they had two dynamic guards in number 13, number four, and uh, we knew that we were going to have to stay in front. And, you know, we're a, we're a pressure team, so therefore we spent a lot of time practicing our backside help, and we didn't have that in the first half. It was really bad in the first half. And, and you know, and we – First game, we're, we're taking a lot of quick shots, so we're having to play transition defense the whole game. And that's that's why we were winded and we were tired. And, uh, but I, I give champion credit. They, they executed well and they, they moved the ball, made us play more defense. And that's the reason why we like to play these type of teams early on, teams that have already got two games under their belt. Yeah. Uh, but like you said, we're still trying to figure it all out. We're trying to figure, right. you saw we, we did a platoon style early because we're right. just trying to figure out the mix. Yeah. Well, today, you know, uh, Duke Harden was a guy mm -hmm. that uh, stuck out today. He had a great game. But also, um, Frank Pettion yeah. Yeah. played well today. Yeah. So, Frank, uh, two years ago, Frank was, matter of fact, he, he was our one of our leading scorers at the beginning and then uh, five games in towards ACL. And so, he's been rehabbing, and he actually wasn't 100% last year, so we, we ended up keeping him out and redshirting him the whole year. Uh, so he was real hungry about this game. He's a real physical guard, draws a lot of fouls. You know, we were just making fun of him like, you know, you had 28, but you could have easily had 30 if you had made your free throws, right. you know. Right. Uh, but, yeah, Duke. Duke was uh, number three in the conference in scoring last year. We knew what we were going to get out of Duke. We knew his shots were going to start falling, and, and we knew those things were going to happen. But, once again, still trying to figure – everyone's trying to figure everything out, you know. Right. Early season, that's what happens, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. And you guys just trying to figure out the mix. You know, I love your style of play. It takes me back. I'm yeah. not going to lie. I sit here and say it a lot. It's, you can't say how, what it reminds you of, but you know what I mean. Yeah. It's You, know, you just that, – four, 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 I like <laughs> that. Right. That was good. That was that was a good coin there. I'll, you need to put that on I'm shirt. I'm going to do that. There you go. You need to put that on shirt. 40 minutes of baptism by fire. <laughs> but it really does remind me you got you got players, you've got – Guys that are athletic, mm -hmm. what is it that you do when you're recruiting a guy? You know, when you're looking at a guy, what is it that you look for in a guy to know that he can play in your system? Yeah, it's a good question. The thing we look for the majority of the time is, you know, how 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 many times is he around the ball? You know, we we me and my assistant when we go out recruit, we have a system. We we chart deflections. That's our big thing. We want we want forty plus deflections a game. We want to see if you're pursuing. So when I'm recruiting, I'm watching a kid. You know, obviously the talent's going to get me in the gym, but then I'm going to be – I'm keeping our stat line what we do. I'm going to see how many deflections is he getting because if he's not playing, that to me shows you how much effort, you know, you're putting out out there. And um, and so that when I'm recruiting, that's the thing I'm looking for. I'm wanting guys that are diving for loose balls, that are – they don't have time to, to, to sulk. They don't have time to get an attitude. They got – because they're constantly moving. They're right. constantly going after the thing. So that's the thing we look for a lot, you know. Obviously, talent's going to get me in, but it may not fit who we are, you know, right. and, and that's the thing that we look for. Well, your, your style is unique, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I know that that's probably one of those things that not the easiest thing to, to prepare for. You've got a lot of good athletes out there. Right. Again, not knowing a lot about your team, I just looking at your team on the floor, you look like you've got a squad that can – be a competitor in your conference this year. Yeah, yeah. You know, like I said, we were we were tied for first going into the last week of the season last year, and we've got four of our top five coming there back. And uh, and that goes to show you how different seasons are different because even though we have four, I think we have seven total returners, you know, you've got to figure out how to play with the new mix. And, and that's the thing with our guys is, is getting them back to that level of, Hey, just because you're returning, actually you have more pressure. You gotta sure. you gotta really pick it up, you know. Sure. Well I'm gonna be keeping up with you. Gonna Please watch do. What's going on? We'll see what's going on and uh man, we, we just appreciate y'all having us, really. Yeah, no, this was this was awesome. I mean yeah. we had a good environment tonight and uh you know, I if there was any good keep away takeaways I could come from tonight is just we you know, we won in ten steals. We always want ten steals. We had thirteen tonight force them into 20 turnovers but sure um, but no this was awesome that's why I'm glad y'all yeah. came and and hopefully we can get you guys back give me a call <laughs> <laughs> I love it
Appreciate, Appreciate you. you guys. Yeah. Thank y'all. Appreciate Thank you. you, man. All right, guys. Well, I think I think we're going to wrap things up here from Walnut Ridge. It's been a great time here. Grand coming back in here. Yeah. Did you see, Coach? He had all these numbers. Yeah. Written on his hand. I, I think that was a winning yeah. formula. I was going to say something yeah. to him, but I started looking. And I noticed it was the starters for the team, like 13, yeah. four. Yeah, I got you. you know, those are the yeah. two leading scores. But uh, I got you. Well, good stuff there. Um, yeah, I mean, he's an awesome guy, great coach, and uh, always super appreciative of us. And, uh, I mean, just super nice guy. And um, it was impressive to see what he's done with this program. And, uh, like you said, they were they were tied for first going to the last game yep. last year. They got four of the five back. So, I mean, that's exciting things if you're a William, Williams Baptist uh, Eagle, for sure. That's it. All right, final plea here. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to us. Hit that no notification bell. Go ahead and, and follow us on the Arkansas Sports Network. Got two pages, Arkansas Sports Network, Arkansas Sports Network High School. Uh, and so, anyway, we, we've just got a lot going on. Yep. Uh, we're looking for a playoff team, playoff place to go next right. few weeks. Uh, so stay tuned with us there. And, uh, man, we'll, we're, we're everywhere, really. I mean, you know, when you think about – the distance traveled that we had <laughs> this, this week. year, especially yeah. in the Arkansas Sports Network games of the week. Every week, my, I'm talking to my my dad or my mom. And they're like, "Why are y'all going over here? Why are you going over here?" I'm like, "We're going to where the best games are." So, uh, we brought you Rector and Izzard County. One, one, you know, coming from Russellville, Rector's right. about as far as you can get. It's a long and way. Uh, um, that was a, a replay of last I, year's state championship. I have and, said, I've said it a thousand times. I've said. You can get to anywhere in the state of Arkansas from Russellville in three hours. I found out that that to be false that night. <laughs> you cannot right. get to Rector in three hours. It's right. a little over and, three uh, for sure. I think we didn't get home to about three. I didn't, I didn't get home to like three fifty that yeah, night. That was a but. little. That was a little bit much. But anyway, with that said, we're going to go ahead and wrap things up here. Been a great time. Our crew saying thank you to you for watching again. Uh, we really don't know what our next broadcast is. We'll uh, we'll, we'll come back. Figure it out in the next it. couple of days. That's it. And we'll, we'll make an announcement. So, anyway, that's why you need to follow us on Facebook. But, anyway, we're out of here. We'll see you later. It's been a great time here from Williams Baptist. <laughs>